Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook, The Abyss of the World's Devil. Chapter 31. Soon after, another small group also arrived outside the city gate. After recognizing each other, Jim Waz greeted them immediately. After a cordial greeting, Jem pointed to Charles next to him and said with a smile, Bishop Safi, I'll introduce my friend for you, Charles. He is in charge of fighting against cults in the Principality of Martin, but his actions have been relatively secretive, so he is not well known, but he is definitely a genuine expert, and his understanding of cultists is absolutely top-notch. Almost knowing the cultists as you know yourself. This time I specifically sought him over, so that he combined with previous information to screen out the most likely locations for the cult to hide in the city. Quote. Oh. After listening to Jim Waz's introduction, Safi, who didn't care much at first, couldn't help flashing some curiosity in his heart, and looked at Charles. In response to his gaze, Charles stood up, stretched out his hand and shook hands with Safi, and said excitedly, Hello, Bishop Safi, I've admired your name for a long time, never thought of me. I can also have this day, and being able to meet with you really caught me off guard. It was as excited as seeing an idol, and even speaking was a bit uninteresting. Seeing his excitement, Safi was involuntarily stunned, and then said with a smile, Where is it? It's too polite. I didn't expect that there will be an expert like you in the Principality of Martin to deal with cultists. It's a fortunate for Martin. Quote. Charles immediately showed a look of shame on his face. Don't dare to be, don't dare to be, in dealing with cultists, you are the greatest authority in charge of heresy hunting and killing. I can be appreciated by His Royal Highness Jim. What an honor, where? Listening to their business talks and the idea of going on, Jim Waz, who knows what the background of the two are, directly feels that the egg hurts. A cult leader and the executioner responsible for cleaning up heretics blow each other, is it interesting? I couldn't help but interrupt it. Two people, let's talk about it in advance, let's take care of the important things first, and it's not too late to talk. After looking at each other, the two nodded in satisfaction, it's okay, x2. One of them admired each other very much, and the appearance of having to have a long conversation after the matter was done made Jim Watts feel a chill. So he hurriedly waved his hand to Shire and instructed, Shire, Bishop Safi who divided the map. Good. After receiving the Shire and handing it to the own map, Safi didn't do anything to hide it, and when he opened it, he looked very rigorously and carefully looked at it. One thing that catches the eye is the circle of various colors and sizes, and the most conspicuous one is the location of the palace with a big red circle in the middle of the map. Safi couldn't help but stunned for a moment. Judging from the color of the circle, it should represent the difficulty. The three colors represent the three difficulties, which is not difficult to understand. But looking at the position of the palace, the big red circle. Safi was still a little unbelievable, he really didn't expect Jim was to search the palace even if he knew he hadn't been crowned yet. Although his father is dead, his mother is still alive, and she is also the current administrator of the palace. According to the rules, only after the crown prince completes the coronation, she will give up this part of the right, and Jim Waz's move to search the palace overnight is undoubtedly a transgression, which makes people feel a kind of forced palace taste. So after doing this kind of thing, it will undoubtedly affect his evaluation among the people to a great extent. Not conducive to future development. Give excuses to his brothers and sisters. After hesitating for a while, Safi asked, um, there are so many places, but how come there are even palaces? There is no way. My mother's queen is not very good at managing affairs, so now in the palace where people's hearts are somewhat disorganized, cultists do have a certain degree of success in mixing into it, so it is necessary to search it again. I will personally explain to the queen afterwards, so you don't have to worry about anything. Quote. The implication was that even his mother did not know that he was going to search the palace. I wanted to come because I was a little bit suspicious of the other party. After hearing the implications, Safi can only say that Jim Waz is a ruthless character, and he doesn't even believe in his own mother when necessary, and judging from the sketched locations, there are quite a few suspected dignitaries. This as long as they can achieve their goals, they are not afraid of offending people at all. They have the confidence to suppress them. They are both capable and decisive. No wonder they can completely suppress the brothers and sisters of Onan and secure the throne of the crown prince. 
However, this kind of person does not seem to be the ideal goal of cooperation that the church needs. In Safi's mind, the ideal goal of cooperation should be the kind of people who can stabilize the situation without much success. I wanted to turn Safi's eyes around here, and after realizing that there was no good way for a short time, I finally decided to let this problem go for the time being, and then make a decision later. After all, if things are dealt with today, the power of the church can formally enter the Duchy of Martin. If this fails, then everything will be meaningless. So he asked with a look of confusion, if this is the case, then how to allocate the target. Jim Waz didn't know the plastic teammate in front of him. He was trying to yin himself, so he still had a smile on his face and said, the red one will be dealt with at the end, and the other places should be divided left and right. You choose the left half, or right half. When Bishop Safi heard that he was about to take over half of the task, he raised his brows and said with an unpleasant expression, oh. But this is your place, your royal highness. We are just here to help. Isn't this bad? After all, the manpower of our church is only about one-tenth of yours, but it is responsible for as many sites as you. Jim Wars explained frankly, that's not what I said. Your heretical hunting house was established specifically to deal with cultists. In this respect, the experience is extremely rich. I'm afraid you know better than them yourself, and although the soldiers under me are brave and brave, but without those experiences, the casualties are bound to be far greater than you. In this regard, Safi just shook his head and firmly refused, but even if this is the case, our church should not take such a big risk. After all, I can't take the life of the priest as a trifling matter. In the face of his decisive refusal, Jim Waz did not have any surprises. He just smiled calmly and wrote lightly, the scope of the parish has been expanded by one-third, and the construction cost of the Principality of Martin has contributed 600,000 gold coins. Make a deal. Safi's expression was shocked, and he stretched out his hands to press on the shoulders of Jim Waz, and said solemnly, in terms of fighting cults, everyone in the church is very responsible. I have never lax, because that is the bounden duty given to us by the Lord, so your highness is too far-sighted. My shirk just now is just to talk about it, why not be so far-sighted? Old stuff, don't billion. Single quote. As if feeling the determination revealed by the other party, Jim Waz flushed his eyes and hugged Safi very moved. This is so touching that the crown prince is extremely moved. Our principality of Martin has always had a good relationship with the church, my dear. Like brothers, this is just a little bit of heart, and please accept it. Safi refused with a serious face, how can this be done? Such a style does not conform to the rules of our church. No, you must accept it. No, our church. No, you must. Seeing the righteous expressions of the two of them, Shahar silently spit on the ground while others were not paying attention. The affectionate performance of the two really made him sick. In the struggle between kingship and theocracy that year, the two forces of the Principality of Martin and the church made several gestures with their swords, and many people died. If it weren't for other forces to stop him, it would have been endless in a hammer of friendship hundreds of years ago. It's worthy of playing politics, the faces are indeed thicker than each one. Even the sorcerer of me can't speak such disgusting words. Single quote. After another push, Bishop Safi finally accepted Jim Waz's proposal with a look of shame, and chose the site responsible for cleaning up the city on the left half, and Jim Waz also thoughtfully let the team the soldiers followed them, ready to help and prevent them from fishing. Before leaving, Jim Waz held Safi's hand with a serious face and asked them to take good care of themselves. The task is precious and the price of life is higher. Seeing the church walking away, the smile on Jim Waz's face disappeared immediately, wiped his hands with a disgusting face, and then spit on the ground. He immediately took a bottle of wine from the subordinates behind him, washed his hands, and rinsed his mouth again. What he said just now, he himself felt sick. He would have to vomit if he did it again. Surface teammate. Someday find a chance to kill you old stuff. Single quote. He thought angrily. Looking at the uncomfortable face of Bishop Safi who was twisted with lice on his body, the priest behind him immediately asked with concern, What's the matter with you, Bishop? Are you uncomfortable? Nothing, just want to change clothes. Obviously, just like Jim was, he was also disgusted. But in the end he endured it, just took off his coat, shook it, and put it on again. 
After everything returned to normal, he asked the priest beside him with his usual expression, Have any of you heard of Shire? No, never heard of it, no. Looking at the priests looking at each other, Safi stroked his chin. He clearly remembered that in the locations marked on the map in his hand, there were several targets that the church had investigated first. It was originally used to make a deal with the kingdom of Martin, but was marked out without thinking, so I had to give it up. This is unreasonable. If the target on the map is really something that guy can guess by himself with some intelligence, then he should be extremely professional and extremely experienced in dealing with cultists, otherwise it would never be possible to understand them like this. No matter how much this kind of people cover up the news, there will be more or less rumors. After all, unless they are able to kill the cultists every time, they will inevitably leak out the news. After thinking about it, he glanced at the soldier who was not far behind him, and had been following him and waiting for others, before he commanded, After today, I want to know all the information about the man named Charles. I think he and his crown prince Jim Waz has a big problem. They are hiding something from us. In a corner of the royal capital, the torch illuminates the surrounding area, and the sound of hacking and killing has gradually ceased. Although some nearby residents heard the sound and woke up from their sweet sleep, they were silent again after seeing through the crack of the door that the side who was making the killing, wearing a kingdom-style armor and carrying a flag with the royal emblem he drew his head back. It's nothing to do, I don't know anything. N-O-Z-U-O-N-O-D-I-E, if you don't die, you won't die. Everyone understands this truth. Seeing someone whose arm had been tightly tied and was being pushed to the ground by several soldiers, Jim Watts sat blankly on a chair with his legs crossed. Sir Carl, what else do you need to say? Is it? Listening to the coldness in Jim Waz's words, the other party immediately struggled and shouted, Your Highness, I am innocent. Although the other party has been sentenced to death, Jim Waz doesn't mind listening to the other party's last words, how innocent. Come and listen. Seeing that there is still a chance, Carl's face full of tears and nose was immediately full of surprises, and hurriedly explained, they just called me to be a guest. I didn't know they were secretly selling military supplies. Nodded, Jim Waz didn't ask much, just pointed his finger behind him, understood, wait a minute, and you will know immediately, after all, they have brought the things over. Carl looked at him for a moment and turned his head away. At a glance, I saw a group of soldiers walking out of the house full of flames. The leading general was holding several heads in one hand and this thing in the other. Looking at the bloody heads, the familiar faces, and the book in the hands of the general, Sir Carl rolled his eyes and passed out. Glancing lightly at Carl, who had passed out, Jim Waz didn't care, but calmly asked the general, did you deal with it cleanly? The other party casually threw his head beside Carl, knelt down on one knee, and handed the book in front of Jim Waz. His Royal Highness, do not humiliate the mission, all the sinners present have been punishable. The books are also intact. Taking the ledger in his hand, Jim Waz nodded and said with a serious expression, Very well, I will go to the military camp to receive the reward later. After holding back his inner joy, the general respectfully stood up and said, Thank you for the reward, your highness. Well, go and rest. After dismissing the general casually, Jim Waz turned over the ledger and looked at the extremely clearly recorded accounts seriously. The quantity, price, whereabouts, and the division of benefits are all clear. Seeing Jim Waz's face, he unconsciously twitched a few times. He really did not expect that when the cult was cleaned up, the cultists had not yet encountered it, but he directly discovered the largest military material smuggling case in recent decades. It is also a pleasant surprise. After handing the account book to a confidant, he slowly stood up, kicked the heads of those people who were still dripping blood, and looked at the familiar faces, he knew that these people were either nobles or wealthy merchants. Then it was a roundabout kick against Sir Carl, who was still unconscious on the ground, kicking him in the air with one kick, rolling a few times in a row. Crack. Accompanied by the sound of the bones in his body being completely broken, Carl was killed immediately, blood slowly seeping from his mouth, eyes, nose, and ears, falling to the ground without a breath. After taking a slight breath and exhaling it again, Jim Watts smiled and said to the guard beside him, cut off his head and put it together with the heads of those people. I want to see today. How many heads can be chopped off? 
He feels that today's surprises will never be less, even more unexpected. Pointing to the place codenamed Two, he mounted his horse and said, Let's go, the next place. Along with the search of locations, firelights and shouts of killing continued to ring around the city. Countless people who were sleeping were awakened from their sleep, and looked out the window with surprise. No one knows what happened, but the soldiers outside the window carrying the royal flag let them know that this was not an invasion by foreign enemies, so they couldn't help but let go of most of their hearts. Randomly glanced at the looming gazes in the surrounding dwellings, Gemworth shook the blood of the knight's sword, pointed at the heads of people piled up with several carriages behind him, and asked Charles a little helplessly, Brother, you give it to me what are the locations that I'm looking for? I'm looking for the wrong Linghui. Warehouses for smuggling military supplies, dungeons for selling children, gathering places for underground assassins, hiding places for wanted criminals in the kingdom, what the hell are these? Charles explained with a slightly embarrassed expression, this is just a small problem. It shows that as long as it is a force that wants to hide, the locations that everyone chooses have the same. Although the main target was not found, there are still many other results. I think it's okay. He also didn't expect that the king could hide so many demon ghosts, and he was so lucky. He pointed out seven or eight places at once, and he could only say that this place had accumulated too many rotten things after years of accumulation. Being able to get rid of them easily would be considered unintentional. Seeing the, rich, results behind him, Jim Wah sighed and said, I don't know what the results are on the church side. Inexplicably cleaning the underground forces in the royal capital, he can't tell what he thinks. Although there is no loss, but I always feel that it is not in line with the expected goal. Boom. Kicked open the door of the basement and looked at the masked people who were watching him and others warily. Safi looked at it a few times. After the patterns and logos embroidered on their black robes, they immediately recognized the identity of the other party, frowning slightly, evil whisper society. This is the fifth one, right? Martin, there are so many cults in the principality. Safi was a little skeptical, whether he was under the shadow of Jemwazi. Only after searching about ten places, I encountered five kinds of cults plus two unseen underground forces. What moving frequency is this? The land of the capital of the principality of Martin is so good, do you all come together and play together? Single quote. Safi was really puzzled. Forces that needed to be carefully searched in the past, today are the same as large wholesalers, just find one right. Just like the various signs of cults known to the heretics hunting and killing, the cults also have a deep understanding of them. The leader of the other party, only through the positions and weapons of the priests, could see through the identities of Safi and others, and his eyes condensed and said in a sullen tone, Huh. Heresy hunting station, I really didn't expect your news. It's so smart that we haven't done anything yet, so you just came to the door directly. It seems that you have inserted a traitor among us, and you are still the kind of high status. After all, in the astonished gaze of Safi and others, he drew a dagger from his waist with lightning speed, turned around and stabbed another masked man next to him in the chest, without giving him anything at all. Opportunity to react. Kalai, although I knew you were a traitor for a long time, and passed a lot of information when we were not paying attention, but I didn't expect you to start so quickly, you did not even plan to finish the action, and you did it. I was caught off guard. After a sharp pain, he looked at the hideous face of the opponent close at hand. The man named Kalai widened his eyes, his flushed face was full of disbelief, obviously he hadn't reacted yet. With his legs soft, he directly knelt down on the ground, blood with blisters gushing from his mouth, he wanted to say something but said no sound. You. Dot you. He. After closing the opponent, looking at Safi and the others who were already stunned, he smiled disdainfully. How is it? Didn't you save yourself? Is it very angry? Looking at someone lying on the ground who was already suffocating, Safi explained sincerely. Well, I think you should have misunderstood something. Our church was planning to arrange an internal response in the Evil Whisper Society before, but then the staff was tense. So I transferred him to another place. Never thought, after hearing this, the other party just laughed disdainfully. Glancing at Safi contemptuously, he shook the blood on his dagger nonchalantly, and laughed with disgust. Fart. Don't think I don't know, you are trying to divert my attention. Quote. 
As soon as the voice fell, the dagger in his hand was directly stabbed at the other subordinate. Still an old technique, very skilled. Under this superb skill in killing off, the opponent was hit directly. It's just that this time he left some strength, didn't fully pierce the internal organs, but severely injured the opponent, and paralyzed his whole body with the potion applied on the dagger. In the shocked gaze of everyone present, after doing all this, he said to Safi again, Don't think I don't know, you have two undercover agents in my place. Although the one just died, but this is not there yet, Bishop Safi, you shouldn't be so ruthless, don't you save meritorious officials. As the other party finished speaking, looking at the subordinates beside him, there were some steps and movements. Safi immediately understood that they really believed that the two stabbed were their own people, and wanted to try to rescue them. So in order to avoid leaving a cold-blooded impression on his subordinates, he could only helplessly explain. I explained it to you. We didn't intervene with you, so why bother? Wool and cloth. When the other party heard this, he became irritated and said, Huh, your mouth is hard, it seems that even if you sacrifice your own people, you are not going to give us a way to survive. After finishing speaking, he kicked the person lying on the ground and said loudly, You rubbish has been abandoned. Tell me your origins. I want to see how the polite old thing explains it. Hearing these words, the muscles on Safi's face moved slightly, and his face remained unchanged, thinking, You are dead, I must kill you. Single quote. After being kicked, the man looked at the blood oozing out of his wound, and glared at the other side miserably. You fool, I am a member of the royal family of Yar, I originally wanted to secretly support your development and give Martin the principality has caused trouble. You actually recognize me as a member of the church, I am XXXXX. After listening, Safi looked at the stunned opponent and shrugged helplessly, I said, you just don't believe it. Then he made a gesture to the people beside him, motioning to do it directly. So the battle began again. Among them, he himself carried the warhammer and directly approached the leader of the opponent, and he just made a decision. You have to smash the opponent's head with your own hands. Soon after, when everything was over, Safi and others left completely. A figure appeared in the basement. Glancing at the corpse lying on the ground, he casually stretched out his hand to grab it. All the undissipated souls nearby were condensed into a crystal clear crystal and appeared in his hands. Put it into your mouth casually and chewed. Olga commented, although there are a lot of scenes, I have been blindly BB, but it tastes good. In general, since he didn't kill people with his own hands, he couldn't figure it out, so it would not cause the world's oppressive power to increase. He is quite satisfied with this buffet. The opponent kills in the front, and Orjiga picks it up in the back, which actually saves resources. Sniffing the smell of blood in the air, Olga's brows opened slightly. I feel very in a good mood. For creatures like Devil, the peaceful life is also good, but it still lacks taste. The great cleansing that took place in the royal capital today was undoubtedly in line with his appetite and made him feel the peace that he had been missing for a long time. As for the things they are dealing with, Orlea doesn't care much. He doesn't care if there are other devils entering this world. Anyway, with his strength, he has no ability to take this world now, just like running into a granary. Like a mouse, it may be able to eat, but it is limited to this. So he didn't have much opinion about other devil who tried to break in, he would come in if he could, and he would fall down if he could not. However, he wouldn't mind killing devil if he had the opportunity. After all, killing a powerful devil can also make a lot of money. Looking through the topsoil layer and looking at the moon in the sky, he stretched his waist. I really want to move. I miss that in the bottomless abyss, you kill me, I kill you. Simple time. In the next instant, the figure turned into an illusory bubble and disappeared in the basement. When the sky is about to light up, the two sides finally completed their respective tasks and gathered in front of the palace. As soon as they met, Safi took the initiative to complain, His Royal Highness, I think our church is too bad for this deal. Originally, I just wanted to prevent Devil from coming. I didn't expect to help you deal with more than a dozen cults. And five or six underground forces, this is completely outside the mission. At first glance, he wanted to make Jim Waz more out. In this regard, Jim Waz just smiled and waved his hand, how can you say that? 
Our principality of Martin paid for it, and I see the staff in your church. Although the look is a bit tired, there are not many casualties at all, so you can work harder too. The implication is that the transaction has already started and it is impossible to add money to daddy. Safi just smiled at this and didn't say much, because he knew that if he said it, he didn't say it. The face of the person in front of him is at least as thick as his own, and he is not a foolish person. After silently giving the opponent a comment that he didn't know whether to say high or low, Safi looked at the carriages that were still bleeding behind Jim Waz, his eyes narrowed and said with a slight smile, it seems not only on my side, but also your royal highness has encountered a lot of trouble. Jim Waz shook his head, smiled casually and said, no way. Suddenly I found so many chaotic courtiers and thieves, if you don't deal with them all, as a crown prince, I will feel uneasy in my heart. In order to warn latecomers, I also asked the soldiers to chop off their heads and prepare to pile them at the city gate as a warning. Safi persuaded, everyone is dead, and there will be a lot of rumors and rumors about your highnesses doing this, which is not very appropriate. It's just a small problem. It's not worth mentioning. Let's clean up first and prepare to enter the palace. Although this is a search, the palace represents the face of the Principality of Martin. Converge. Naturally, I still understand this. Soon after, when both parties were about to rest, Jim Waz walked to the palace and made two gestures. The gate of the palace was opened from the inside without even saying a word. Faced with this situation, Safi frowned slightly, it seems that he has basically fixed all the key points in the Martin Kingdom. Single quote. Let's go. Regardless of what they were thinking, Jem took the lead into the palace on his horse. But what Jim Waz did not expect was that as soon as he entered it, he saw a familiar figure standing not far away with his back facing him. After his face changed for a while, he walked off the horse and knelt down on one knee and said, Mother, I haven't seen you for a long time. The other party said without looking back, I don't have a son like you. The voice was full of indifference. Without paying attention to the other party's indifference, Jim Waz said with an expression as usual, now there are cultists hiding in the capital. They are trying to cause great trouble, and there is a certain risk in the palace, so I need to treat the palace. Check it out and hope that the queen will not be offended. The other party smiled disdainfully and then said, fool it. Huh, is it useful to say what I am saying now? After speaking, he left straight away, without even looking at Jem Watts and her son. Although there was no expression on Safi's face on the side, he immediately felt that there was a lot of insider in his heart, otherwise a mother and son shouldn't be mixed up like an enemy. When the opponent left, Jim Waz stood up from the ground as usual, and gently waved to the soldiers and priests behind him, start the search, and be careful not to damage things as much as possible. Only Charles noticed that the gaze in Jim Waz's eyes was a bit sluggish, as if he was thinking of something. Obviously, his heart is far less calm than his face. But Charles didn't ask much, because he knew what kind of person Jim Waz was, and there must be reasons why he didn't want to talk to others. So I just stood there quietly and didn't do anything. Soon after, after some searching, everyone confirmed that there was nothing wrong with the palace. Following the instructions of Jim Waz, they proceeded to the next location. Looking at the building in front, Safi stopped the horse while controlling the horse, and said with a very serious expression, we seem to have found the target. Because you are aware of our approach, and you are not sure that you will not be discovered, do you simply stop pretending? Feeling the completely different atmosphere of the building from the usual, Jim Watts calmly analyzed, it seems that by understanding our movement in the city, they have already inferred our purpose, so now they are directly planning to break the boat. Quote. The Colosseum, as one of the largest buildings in the capital, has always been in charge of the royal family members taking turns. I remember that the person in charge here is my uncle Richard Waz, who can be used by the crooked spirits. When the den is his negligence. It's another reason. After thinking about it, he gave up on the problem. Because there is a problem in front of him right now, that is because when the Colosseum was being built, it was also given the role of defensive fortress in the royal capital, so its construction specifications are exceptionally high, and the outer wall is close to the height. At 35 meters, ordinary people other than knights can only sigh even if they have ropes. The gate is made of iron wood and metal, 
fireproof and swordproof, and even a siege hammer cannot break it in a short time. Facing this fortress standing in front of him, Jim Waz directly gave up his plan to go to the front door. After flashing his eyes for a few times, he raised his hand and shouted, All night level and grand night level people put on wall climbing hooks and are ready to fight on the wall. As for those who are less than night level, they put on bows and arrows. Tie a cloth stained with kerosene on top of the arrow and shoot me inside. Unlike on the earth, siege must rely on large-scale equipment such as siege ladders. Humans in this world have additional development in certain tools due to the existence of transcendent power. Wall climbing hook is one of them. It can make people climb on the wall to a certain extent, but it relies too much on physical strength. Once it climbs up, it is easy to fall to death. Moreover, this gadget needs to use all the limbs, so that people can't even lift the shield, and it is easy to be used as a moving target by the defender, so most of its role is used in sneak attacks, and the frontal combat is just pure death. However, although the opponent is already prepared, Jim Waz does not believe that a group of shameless cultists can quickly assemble hundreds of people to defend, and even dozens of them will die. With the support of bows and arrows, thousands of knights and great knights on their side can fully climb the wall by climbing the wall hook. There may be a certain degree of casualties, but at least within the acceptable range. Following his orders, the soldiers and generals did not hesitate, and immediately began to change their equipment and quickly put on the climbing hook, while the priests of the church heresy hunting and killing center began to hesitate and looked at Saw Philippines. After some hesitation, Safi gritted his teeth and ordered, night level and high level knights begin to wear wall hooks and prepare to fight together. Those who are less than night level use bows and arrows to cover an attack. He knew that at this time, the necessary sacrifices could not be avoided. Otherwise, waiting for the sacrifice ceremony in the Colosseum to be completely completed, devil would truly come to this world and would definitely cause greater losses. That was not what he wanted to see. No matter what his purpose is, what he thinks about the Duchy of Marden, but as a devout believer, his aversion to devil is absolute, and he can't tolerate that kind of thing happening in front of him. This order was reached, and many priests immediately began to change their equipment like the soldiers of the Duchy of Marden. Climbing hooks are standing weapons like swords for them. In special operations, they often have to deal with cultists and evil creatures, and they are even more familiar than most soldiers. When everything was ready, along with several rounds of rocket shooting, screams began to sound in the Colosseum. It was the sound of the cultists being hit. Fixing the interval between a round of bow and arrow attacks, Jim Watts ordered without any hesitation, the assault begins. Thousands of warriors equipped with wall climbing hooks clung to the city wall like lizards and began to climb quickly. During the period, many cultists tried to shoot them down but the continuous attacks of bows and arrows severely suppressed most of them, and only a few people were able to withdraw their hands to attack the climbers on the city wall. In the face of these attacks, although the climbers were unable to fight back, relying on the absolute superiority of the number of people, they directly broke through their defense against casualties. With their continuous success in climbing the wall, Jim Waz immediately stopped the archers from shooting. Due to the change in the number of people at the top, there is no benefit other than shooting at one's own people. He didn't let him wait for too long. With the sound of the edges and corners of the gate rubbing against the ground, the gate of the Colosseum Garden was opened from the inside. Jim was ordered, all the archers put on melee weapons. When confronted with resistance, they will be killed. Boom. Bang. Bang. Looking at the hidden secret door in the basement, Jim was frowned deeply. At this time, they had experienced a period of nonviolent battle, and they had an absolute advantage in numbers. They had already cleaned up all the cultists defending outside the Colosseum Garden, and found the basement right now along the way. And this metal door made of special metal has become the biggest problem in front of them. Because the terrain is narrow and the body is more than 10 meters deep underground, more people will get in the way. Even if several great knights were to use their hammers to hit them with all their strength, there was no way to cause any harm to it. Except for a small amount of dust falling from the crack of the door, even dents have never been produced. Judging from the sound produced when the hammer strikes, the thickness of this metal door is probably close to more than 10 centimeters, and it is almost impossible to open it in a violent way. After thinking about it, looking at the dust on the ground, 
He suddenly thought that since it can't be broken, can he just take it down? So he hurriedly ordered the great knights to replace the hammers, and use crowbars and hose to break the stone bricks along the edges of the iron door, and loosen the soil towards both sides. Seeing the rising dust, Charles glanced at the crowd behind him, and whispered to Jim Waz with some worry, we are now more than 10 meters underground. You are sure that this will not cause tunnels? Collapse, bury us all alive. Jim, who hadn't realized this problem before, took a breath and shook his head and said in a low voice, Dot not sure, but this is the only way. Besides that, I can't think of a way to attack in a short time. I can only hope that when the basement is built, the other party's anti-collapse work is done well. Depend on. I don't know if it was because the basement was repaired well, or because Jim and the others were lucky. Until the door was completely opened, although the tunnel had been dusty, and Jim Waz's heart was pounding, but there were no big cracks, and it was still very stable. Let Jim Waz and Charles feel confident, silently complimenting their solidity. They opened the secret door and walked forward for a while, accompanied by bursts of sounds chanting unknown spells, a huge open room entered their eyes. The most conspicuous among them is a huge altar surrounded by dozens of black-robed men. Countless blood was flowing on it at this time, and at least hundreds of corpses were placed in the most central position. Judging from the appearance and clothing of the corpses, they should be the slaves who were supposed to be held in the Colosseum. Their original destiny should be to die in a duel in the future, but now they are all ahead of schedule. There were wounds all over their throats. Judging from the signs of struggle around them, they should all be alive when they were bled. Jim Waz paid little attention to the corpses. Instead, he looked at someone standing on it and asked puzzledly, My dear uncle, why are you doing this kind of thing? There is no disguise in the appearance and clothing of the other party, unlike other people who cover their face. And that man is his pro-uncle Richard Waz, a prestigious and capable royal family. As far as he knows, this person should have no ambitions. He belongs to the kind of person who is willing to live a peaceful life without fighting or grabbing it. He was very puzzled. That's not because it's hidden too deeply, and it's for decades to conceal it. Single quote. In the face of his question, Richard Waz just showed a gentle smile as usual, Jem, this is my last hope. Looking at the smile on his face, Jem thought of a possibility and asked with a serious look. Did you do all this because of Senna? The smile on Richard's face disappeared, and he showed a little helplessness. Sure enough, I didn't hide it from you. You know, because of her inherited bloodline problems, Shantian, like her mother, grew up in a frail and sickly condition. I have tried all the methods and couldn't cure her. In the past two years, I can even feel her the disease is getting worse and worse. If you don't hurry up and get treatment, she will probably be able to live within a few years. She is only 11 years old. My mother and I promised that she will grow up healthily like an ordinary person, so even if I rely on devil, I will find a way to cure her. This is my responsibility as a father. Quote. After listening, Jim opened his mouth and wanted to say something but couldn't find what he should say, because he knew that Richard was in a state of ruin, and he did not hesitate to do anything. But the identity of the other party still made him give his final persuasion. You should be very clear that Devil is a creature, no matter from the content recorded in the book, it is not a doctor. If you give up now, I promise that the current events will not have any impact on your life and Senna's life. What then? Let me watch my own daughter Senna die. Gently shook his head, Richard was not moved at all. He pointed to the successful summoning ritual on the ground, looked at Jem calmly, and persuaded him in the opposite direction. Jem, now the summoning ritual has begun. You can no longer to prevent it from happening. If you leave, I will use the short-term control power granted to me by the summoning ceremony to make devil heal Senna, and then expel him to the rest of the country. What do you think of this? Quote. When Jim Waz heard this, he immediately wanted to refuse. But after thinking about it carefully, I suddenly felt that the other party's words seemed a little reasonable. Wouldn't it be good for Devil to harm other countries? A look of hesitation immediately appeared on his face. This made Safi who chose to watch quietly because he didn't want to intervene in their housework, so dumbfounded. He really did not expect that this rubbish teammate, in a few words, persuaded others to fail, but was moved by others' persuasion. This ally is the same as paper. They really want to join forces to succeed, 
So don't the people in our church become the one who has been beaten to by one. Single quote. He hurriedly interjected with a serious look, His Royal Highness, I think devil is not so obedient. After all, any history book describes them as cruel and crazy. It is inevitable that such lunatics can be used as targets. Some are too irrational. How can there be so many disasters when it is so simple? As soon as he heard this, Jem immediately thought of Olga, and there was a feeling that the other party was looking at Owen in a daze, which made his scalp numb. The shaking on his face instantly turned into firmness. That kind of thing is still a big trouble, and one can't stand it. If you really want to come again, Martin is not far from subjugating the country. So he shook his head and denied, Richard uncle, devil is still too dangerous, and the chance of losing control is too great. In response to his reply, Richard Waugh smiled casually, that would be a pity. In the next second, a pale mist filled the altar. A monster with a height of about three meters, a sheep's head, a human body, a snake tail, and black hair all over his body slowly emerged from it. Familiar world, Icarla is back. Although it was not a familiar language, everyone present understood what he meant. Looking at the devil in front of him, Jem didn't know if it was an illusion. Although he could still perceive the strength of the opponent, he did not feel the devil in front of him, feel. After comparing the opponent with Olga, he simply came to the conclusion, there is no Olga Chang in front of this one. Single quote. More than just strength, even the appearance and the aura, he was incomparable with Orjiga. Olga's body is the kind of appearance that can make people feel extremely powerful at a glance, just standing there can make people frightened, and the look at it can make the soldiers of all wars terrified. Scarlet golden pupils, curved double horns, strong body, hideous scales, and wide wings. Anyone who sees his existence can recognize his devil's identity only at the first glance, which perfectly fits people's attitude towards devil. His imagination makes him more like the fear condensed from his fantasy. But this one in front of him is completely different. If you meet him in other places, Jim Waz may think he is some other monster. It is not clear that someone is defamating himself. After Devil came out, he took a deep breath and murmured in a somewhat obsessive voice, it's full of the breath of the weak. It's still my favorite playground. Before letting him indulge for too long, another smell was also noticed by him. He immediately raised his brow and said with dissatisfaction, how can there be a smell that makes me sick? Following the taste, he was an old man. The opponent's strength can only be regarded as a high-level rubbish, and Carla did not put him in one's eyes. What makes him care about is what the other person is carrying. Barring his teeth, he said in disgust, sacred items. The church of this world again. It's as disgusting as a bug. Are you about to figure out the grand speech that plays with the right words? The next moment, without letting him wait long, a palm-sized badge was touched by Safi, Devil, get out of this world. Otherwise, I wait for the shepherd of the gods, and I will give you the strongest blow. Without paying attention to Safi's nonsense, Devil the goat head spit on the ground with a look of disgust, disgusting. After that thing was touched out, he felt that the world's oppressive power around him increased greatly. In his eyes, these shameless little bugs, whether they were hundreds of years ago or now, always use some boring little tricks to lower his level and form a group to beat him. There is not a single opponent that can really make him face. At this moment, although his strength had been pulled down to a certain extent, he was not panicked at all. When he was just summoned, Richard Waz gave him a lot of sacrifices. As long as he eats the sacrifices, his strength can be restored immediately. At that time, not to mention being able to abuse a few small bugs at will, at least self-protection will be a breeze. Thinking of this, he reached out and touched the position behind him. The souls of hundreds of sacrifices have been gathered there by him, and they have become a condensate of souls that can be held at hand, which is convenient for him to eat. Reach out and grab it. Didn't catch it. I'll catch it again. Still not caught. Seeing not far away with a puzzled face and not knowing what Safi and others he was doing, Carla was slightly embarrassed. Turning his head slightly, he glanced at the empty behind. He thought to himself, what about daddy's sacrifice? Single quote. What about such a big tuft of sacrifice? Single quote. And Olga, who was lying among the clouds above the Colosseum garden, 
put the thing he had just got into his mouth and chewed twice before he moved his gaze back to Safi and the others with satisfaction. The priest plus the sorcerer plus the careerist plus the cannon fodder of a large group of runners, this kind of brave lineup is really rare, and he is looking forward to the follow-up development. After Carla discovered that the soul beside him was missing, the vigilance in her heart had already reached its limit. He knew very well that the few guys in front of him were incapable of stealing his things in front of him. There is absolutely something hidden nearby. Looking at Carla who was looking around, Jim Waz asked suspiciously, what is this doing? Is it casting a spell? I think it might be using some kind of ritual. After touching all the normal badges in his hand, Safi replied a little uncertain. Glancing at the men who were still pouring in behind him, he made a serious gesture. Many priests immediately took out a large amount of holy water, prayer scriptures, and other objects that they carried with them. Make plans to fight to the death. Safi said to Jim Wars very seriously, at this time, he is at the weakest time. He must be expelled from the world now. If he escapes, he has a source of supplementary strength. The strength will recover at an extremely fast speed, and it will be a great trouble at that time, and the evil disasters of the past will only appear because of that. I have no problem, if that's the case, let's do it. At this moment, Jem's soldiers were also lined up, and he ordered, heavy crossbow team, start attacking. Several disasters in history have proved that ordinary bows and arrows are of little use to devil. Unless it is a strong knight, otherwise ordinary archers can't even break their fur, so when he came, he specially dispatched a batch of heavy crossbows that can shoot through heavy cavalry, and asked them to advance. Soak the crossbow arrow in the holy water and send it to the church for blessing, so that it will be contaminated with the church's exorcism power. Shoo. Perceiving that the crossbow arrows were covered with power that could hurt him, Carla gently swiped two fingers to the right, and a strong wind rushed out from the basement, forming a translucent wall of wind, and shot those the crossbow arrows that came here flew easily. Perhaps for those melee weapons, this trick is not very useful, but when faced with shooting weapons, the defensive spells of the wind system are particularly effective. However, as the releaser, watching the effect of the spell, Carla shook his hand in disdain. If it weren't for the fact that the magic content of this world was too low and its strength was greatly suppressed, the wall of wind stream just now could completely form a whirlpool, enclosing him in it, not just a wall. For hundreds of years, although he did not have a profound study of any spells, and his time was basically spent in the fight, but with regard to the bloodline spells he awakened, Carla had reached the point of perfection, enabling it to achieve a lot of basics. Does not have the effect. Make sure that no one is hiding around, but they can't find own sacrifice. Carla then looked at the troops behind Jim and others, and said with a disgusting expression, hundreds of years have passed, the transcendent power in your world is really getting weaker and weaker. I still remember the previous crusade against me. At the time, your so-called big knights were playing one team after another. Like this low energy and very exclusive world, the devil from the bottomless abyss, the reason why they fail in return is usually because the natives used various methods to give devils strength. Hold to the same level as them, and then relying on a wealth of experience and a sufficient number of people, they use the tactics of going out of the sea to forcibly kick devil out. It has to be said that this is really disgusting, and the devils are defeated by a group of opponents that are simply insignificant. Especially at this moment, it is even more so when it is blocked by someone just after it arrives. If it were in its heyday, Carla could kill all the trash in front of him with one hand, and didn't even want to look at it. But now that this kind of strength has been suppressed to the limit, and the strength is not 1 in 10, he has to admit that he has to face the trash in front of him, otherwise there is a real probability that he will capsize. This undoubtedly made him not very good-tempered, and he felt angry, especially when he saw Richard Watts. At the time of coming, due to the summoning ceremony, he and Richard Waz reached a contract. In order to collect the sacrifices and the price of coming to this world, he had to be Richard Waz within a certain period of time. Service just works. There was nothing wrong with it. As a condition for reaching the contract, this was a normal situation, and Carla didn't think there was anything wrong. But now it should have belonged to the own sacrifice, I don't know who stole it, and the road was blocked by Jim Waz with a large group of people, and he still had to fulfill his obligation to serve the other party for a period of time, which made Carla feeling heartfelt aggrieved. 
He wanted to turn around immediately and screw Richard Waz's head off. However, looking not far away, the soldier holding a shield and advancing towards him, and the priest holding the cannon and chanting annoying scriptures, Carla wisely put aside his hostility temporarily and asked Richard Waz next to him. Said, is there any way out, my strength is too much restricted, I need to recover some to get rid of them. Hearing this question, I don't know the devil in front of him wanted to strangle his own Richard Waz. He couldn't help but stunned. According to his understanding of devil, shouldn't he just go up and start the fight at this time? Why do you want to run away? But when I turned my head and thought, it seems that the royal secrets also recorded that when devil was just called out, it was indeed the weakest period. So he didn't hesitate to nod his head and said, there is a secret road directly leading to the ground. When Carla heard the news, he nodded in satisfaction, very well, you go first, I'll follow you right away. Actually is not that he has eaten too much to think about the queen, but the remaining group of people except Richard was, the rest are his loyal believers, if he can save him, he would not mind to help, after all there are still plenty of opportunities to use them. Seeing them leaving, Carla waved his hand, and the highly condensed air flow suddenly turned into an invisible wind blade and was thrown out by him. With the sound like a chainsaw cutting iron, the wind blade hit the soldier holding the shield in the front row, cutting a dazzling spark on the shield. The powerful impact caused the soldier's body to be knocked off immediately. As for the wind blade, the trend continued, slashing towards the crowd behind the opponent, bringing patches of blood to the ground. The human body is like a thin piece of paper in front of this power that can cut metal. Even a great knight level powerhouse who can tear a tiger and a leopard empty handed can't resist with his body at all. Carla commented disdainfully, it's really poor and weak, I can't even take this kind of attack. In this world, even the humans whose magic power can only be used in the most superficial way, he has always treated them as primitives. If it wasn't for reaping the soul, he would have no idea of coming here at all. The energy drawn by casually inhaling some air in the bottomless abyss can be worth the meditation here for a long time. However, before he reached out to grab the souls of the dead, he discovered a phenomenon that he had overlooked before. The magic circle on the ground is quietly absorbing souls and teleporting them to other places. Seeing him gritted his teeth, he instantly understood where the own sacrifice had gone. A bunch of idiots, I don't know if the magic circle has been changed. Under the action of anger, magic power gushes out with him as the center. Open all the nearby floor tiles, completely destroying the magic circle depicted on it. However, looking at the flying dust fragments, instead of getting better, his mood became worse. Because he knows that the natives of this world alone do not have the ability to change his summoning rituals without being sensed by him, so there must be external creatures who have intervened in this matter. Moreover, the other party obviously has no good intentions at all. In a weak state, being targeted maliciously by one or more external creatures who don't know their identity is not good news for him. Even if the opponent hasn't ended up directly, the danger contained therein is far above the indigenous forces in front of them. In this case, would the other party easily let himself go? Carla thought it was impossible. And things are indeed as he expected. Even if he didn't turn his head back, he guessed the result through the sound of footsteps that had already left behind him but was now returning quickly. The secret road was blocked by someone, and it was very strong. It is a rock that looks like mud but is extremely hard. Even weapons can't damage it. Turn mud into stone, or is it a similar spell? Single quote. Carla paid no attention to Richard Waz's flustered words, just glanced at the ceiling above her head silently. If he didn't guess wrong, all the soil behind the stone slab on his head should have been hardened again to prevent him from drilling out directly. He took a step towards retreated, avoiding several weapons that smashed at him. Stand firmly, and commanded to the cultists and Richard Watts behind him, if that's the case, just kill it. Hearing his instructions, the cultists screamed in excitement, and they didn't care about the number of each other dozens of times. Because in their doctrine, giving life for Carla is the greatest glory, and everything else is secondary. Only a slight hesitation flashed across Richard Waz's face, deliberately hiding his figure behind Carla. For him, if he is desperately trying to save his own daughter, then he is bound to do so. But at this moment, when Carla was just summoned out, things were only left to the bottom. 
He hadn't even started treatment for the illness, so it was obviously the most important thing to take Carl out of this place, and it hadn't reached the moment when he needed to work hard. Moreover, with his own strength, he didn't think he could help Carla much. As long as he doesn't hold back, the summoner will do. Thus, the chaotic battle began completely in this basement. The cultists were the first to get out. Although they are not weak in strength, they are still extremely weak when facing soldiers and priests who have formed a formation, just like small water splashes splashed by rocks, and they are instantly submerged by swords. Facing the end of the destruction of his followers, Carla didn't even have the idea to stop it. Since it is irretrievable for him, the best way to deal with it is to make the best use of it. I can't take it out anyway. I saw Carla grabbing hard, and the souls of the dead believers and those killed by their counterattack were all caught by Carla. Although the number of these souls is not large, but because their strength is at least at the night level, the quality is not bad, and they can barely be used to respond to emergencies. Without any hesitation, he swallowed them decisively. Carla directly used Devil's natural ability to transform all of them into pure power to fill the part of herself suppressed by the power of the world. The suppressed power in his body was supplemented by sources, and he immediately recovered some. After looking at the fish's surrounding own, Carla had a rough idea after some estimation. Leaning his arm forward, he directly grabbed the arrow that hit his head, and stabbed it into the body of the soldier next to him. The movement was almost instinctive. As a devil who has lived for nearly a thousand years, Carla may not have much other experience, but the experience of fighting is absolutely sufficient. He has already been transcendent in his fighting skills. Any attack that does not exceed the range of strength is basically can make the best response in an instant, just like one's own instinct. For him, if the humans in front of him were not contaminated with weapons, the power of sacred, which was like poison to him, could be killed at the cost of minor injuries, and he did not need to be as cautious as he is now. But these human beings, disgusting and disgusting, were prepared too well. They were all equipped with sacred items given by the church, either with amulets on their bodies or smeared with holy water and holy medicine on their weapons, which really made him feel uncomfortable. The holy water, meaningless to ordinary people, is like powerful sulfuric acid to him, which can erode the surface of the body and use it to defend the fur, and the scriptures constantly chanted by the priests are particularly harsh in his ears. It made him feel dizzy. Although you can trample to death with one foot, a poisonous insect that can make yourself feel bitter if you don't pay attention. Single quote. This is the image of the encirclement in front of Carla in Carla's heart. Although I was very disdainful, I had to face it carefully. After being poured over half a bottle of holy water again, he felt the tingling sensation all over his body. He was a little bit intolerable, and the magic power in his body automatically overflowed his body and entangled his side. The fur of his body began to cling to the skin, and a layer of invisible armor formed by air currents appeared on his body surface. Cut off the holy water swaying at him. The fingertips of the palms automatically extend more than one meter long translucent air current sharp edge, which greatly ascension the attack range. With one claw swung out, several soldiers wearing armors in front of them swayed the blood in their bodies. The armors on their bodies shattered like paper, while their bodies were chopped and chopped into pieces at the same time. The handle of the saber hit me, and his death was extremely miserable. The faces of the nearby besieged personnel immediately showed a timid look, which caused Carla to laugh. Safi, who was in command, couldn't help frowning as he looked at this scene. The strength, agility, and physique of the two sides are not on the same level. If it is not for the relatively narrow environment in the basement, there is not much room to escape, so that the other party has to carry a lot of attacks. I am afraid that people like myself will have no way to take him. Judging from the current situation, even if oneself and others can consume the other party to death, the sacrifices they need to make are absolutely staggering. The secret code inside the church clearly records that for devil, they apply holy water and medicine on their weapons. Although they can continue to cause damage to them, the souls of the victims who continue to die will also be in devil's power. Take it as a tonic, and continue to treat each other. The more you kill, the stronger you are, what an evil race. After thinking about it, he handed the badge in his hand to the leader of the chanter squad who was in charge of chanting the holy scriptures, and asked them to pray for blessings with chants and continue to inspire their power. 
seriously took it out of his arms again, a small bottle engraved with strange lines. The looks are more solemn than the sacred badge. Holy ashes. The most pious cultivator, the corpse after death, is processed through special rituals. After the saint earth fire is transformed, the ashes are stored in the church headquarters. After decades of prayers and prayers, the believers can make such a small bottle. It is the most vicious poison for evil creatures. Use a knife to make a scar in the palm of your hand and pour the bleeding blood into the bottle. Safi closed his eyes and began to chant a secret mantra known only to the bishop and the pope. A faint golden light overflowed from the mouth of the bottle, flowing on the ground, spreading to the surroundings little by little. Carla, who was fighting wantonly, even if he didn't notice the sight, but the sixth sense, which was honed after countless life and death crises, still played a key role, making him feel threatened secretly, and looked directly at him. Look at the thing in Safi's hand. Killing intent boiled in Carla's eyes, asshole thing. A round translucent sphere, accompanied by strong wind, instantly formed in his hands, and was thrown at Safi, who was chanting a spell with his eyes closed. Seeing this, several priests immediately flew forward, trying to block this strike for Safi. But their strong bodies, like thin paper in front of this strike, can't even delay a little, they are instantly penetrated by powerful forces, and spiral blood blossoms bloom in the air. Boom. Carla's angry blow collided with a pale golden barrier just before it hit Safi. The strong air current accumulated and it broke out immediately, and the momentum was like a bomb formed by the same air. With a burst of translucent ripples swept across, all the surrounding objects, even soldiers in heavy armor, were immediately shocked by irresistible force. Whether bones or flesh, they were directly torn apart in front of this force that ignored conventional protection, and blood slowly flowed out of the gaps between them through the armor and clothing. When the dust cleared, except for Safi himself, who was covered by the golden light, and the chanter squad sheltered by the badge. The dozens of people who were standing around had all been killed on the spot. Ignoring his ears that were slowly bleeding blood, Safi knelt on the ground, chanting the last spell with a solemn expression. The small bottle in his hand also turned into golden powder at that moment, passing between his fingers, with the sound of prayer that seemed like an illusion, and automatically rushed towards Carla. Facing the golden powder, Carla's face changed drastically, from which he smelled the crisis of death. I knew in my heart that this kind of attack was impossible to evade, and if you resisted it hard, it would cost you at least half of your life. Therefore, with a fierce attack, all the magic in the body was turned into a spear entwined with a whirlwind, and it was shot out with all its strength. There was no sound and no impact. The moment the two touched, the power of holy ashes penetrated into the spear transformed by Carla's own magic, like a hot knife. Just as crisp as butter. Although Carla's power is substantially higher than the power of transcendent in this world, he has now been weakened multiple times. When faced with the sacred objects that the church has spent a lot of time and decades, it is inevitable that they are still at a disadvantage. Sacred and evil are two completely opposed concepts. They restrain each other and cancel each other out. When one party has the advantage, it will cause crushing damage to the other party. Just as fire can be extinguished by water, and water can be completely evaporated, although the two are relative, they have no absolute advantages and disadvantages. After discovering the fact that own power is weaker than the other party, Carla looked very ugly, and immediately wanted to throw away the spear in his hand, but it was too late. Holy Ashes' s power was directly transmitted to Carla's body through the spear composed of magical power. It was just an instant that the arm where he first touched Holy Ashes was like a wax figure about to melt, the fur faded away, the flesh and blood turned into pulp and fell on the ground, and even the bones made an overwhelming noise, like a machine in disrepair for a long time. Carla looked at the wound that was still spreading without any hesitation. She endured the severe pain and used her other arm to gouge the infected arm, as well as the blood and flesh of the nearby shoulder. He was fortunate enough to act decisively on his own. Before the broken arm fell to the ground, Carla saw that it had turned into scorching blood. Carla felt dizzy after breathing in the heat coming out of it slightly. So he hurriedly moved a few steps aside. But how could the besiegers next to him let him go? The holy water and potions in their hands were specially sprayed on his wounds. At first sight, they were going to beat the water dog, making him feel extremely aggrieved when he could only dodge. 
He turned his head and looked at Devil, the sheep's head, who was already at an absolute disadvantage. Jim Wazi lifted the knight's sword in his hand, looked at Richard Wazi, who was covered with scars, shook his head gently, and persuaded, Uncle, I'll give you one last chance and stop doing useless work. Surrender. In fact, if it had not been specially ordered by him, Richard in front of him would have died under the siege of the soldiers, and would not have survived now. Jem, as a father, I just want to save my own daughter. Looking at the unchanging opponent, Jem sighed slightly, it can't be saved. We all know that even if Devil saves her, it will definitely be saved in a form that no one wants to see, except that it makes Senna more painful. It is meaningless outside, because Devil itself is a kind of creature that has no good intentions towards humans. After a bitter smile, the other party still said stubbornly, perhaps, dot but I still want to give it a try. Waved his hand to signal the person next to him to retreat, Jim took a step forward and put on a posture that belongs to the secret swordsmanship of the royal family, for the safety of the country, I can't give you a chance, sorry uncle. But at least, I will let you die in my hands as a member of the royal family. Then trouble you. Richard froze for a moment, his face showed the same smile as before, and he followed the same posture. The same swordsmanship and close strength, but Richard knew that he had no chance to win from the beginning, because his injury would not allow him to win. However, facing the intact Jim, Richard did not feel that there was any problem with the other's behavior, but was very happy with his style, be cautious and don't leave the other side a chance. He is a suitable candidate for the king, at least better than himself, who is often indecisive. After more than a dozen moves, Richard Watts smiled after looking at the sharp sword pierced into his body, and said in a voice that only he and Jem could hear, Jem, you are really good, for your father although I know some of your other uncles vaguely, they never blamed you. Instead, they felt that you were doing the right thing. After all, the mental state of Arles at the time was completely unreasonable and no longer suitable a king. His continued rule is meaningless except to plunge the country into crisis. Don't worry about their opinions, because although they didn't say anything, but through your various actions, after watching you restore the decline of the principality with your own eyes, they are very satisfied with you and think you will be a good king. As for your mother, you don't need to worry too much. No matter how much she hates you, she is your mother. She may hate you for 10 years, and she will hate you for 20 years, but in the end she will still forgive you, so let her heart go. Your burden, come on. Quote dot dot dot. Goodbye, uncle. Gently help Richard Waz closed his eyes, and Jim Waz couldn't tell what he was feeling. Maybe it's heavy, or maybe it's other feelings, anyway, he doesn't feel happy. Not far from Carla, with Richard Waz's death, the struggle is about to come to an end. Before long, as a large amount of holy water penetrated into the body through the wound, the body gradually fell into weakness. Finally, the sharp sword pierced into the brain through the eye socket. Just when Safi and others were still celebrating in the basement. At a corner of the street not far from the Colosseum, a thin little beggar opened his eyes from his deep sleep. Looking at their direction, he spit out disdainfully, and whispered, a bunch of low-level creatures, even their souls can't be destroyed, so are they worthy to kill me. When Carla was in the basement, it was clear that she was being spotted by other beings. The invisible gaze made him feel a fatal threat. But Safi and the others added to him again. Therefore, he had no choice but to act in a play, sneaking away at the cost of abandoning most of his power. After moving this poor body for a while, he got up and walked to the outskirts, preparing to find a secluded place to regain his strength. But before he took a few steps, he was stunned. He felt as if he smelled a familiar smell. It didn't come from this body's sense of smell, but was smelled by his devil's soul. Looking in the direction of the taste, he saw a figure in the sky above his head, leaning against the moon, leaning on the clouds, watching him calmly, there was no fear, no disgust, no joy in his eyes, some just look at the indifference of insects. Relying on devil's vision, through the opponent's false and ridiculous human appearance, after seeing the true nature of the unconcealed intention, Carla understood the identity of the opponent, and also understood who changed the own magic circle, and understood the other. One thing. That is, I am about to die. Carla was extremely convinced of this. When the sun rose, the civilians looked at the posted signs everywhere in the city. Everyone was full of shock. 
Because of the news that someone tried to summon devil in the capital, His Royal Highness Prince Jem and the Church Bishop Safi led the crowd to search the city overnight, and finally found the target in the Colosseum, killing 124 cultists and killing them hundreds of years ago. Devil Carla, who caused the devastation, is wiped out. The following are the evil organizations that were eliminated during the search for the city. Number 411, Orla Street. There are 17 child trafficking organizations, all of which have been beheaded. Number 112, 3rd Avenue. There are 21 followers of the Milinsha cult, all of whom have been beheaded. A total of 946 criminals were wiped out in the above operations. All their heads have been cut off and stacked 100 meters away from the North City Gate. If citizens know of other evil organizations hiding in the city, they can report to number. 12. Weiwang Road, and the royal family will respond. Some awards. Devil. Did this kind of creature come to the capital yesterday? Facing this information, most civilians were taken aback. This kind of legendary creature, they have only heard of it in various legends, in addition to fear, there is more curiosity in their hearts. Hundreds of years, the replacement of several generations and dozens of generations, have already wiped out devil's specific concepts in their minds. This news, for a time, didn't even feel real to them, and the touch it brought to them was not as great as the incidental evil organization below. A creature like devil is too far away for them. Hearing that kind of news suddenly, it is far better to be shocked to find that there is a cult den near his home. For the vast majority of people, when something hasn't touched oneself, no matter how big or serious it is, it doesn't make much sense. It is precisely because of this that Jem will let people write down the detailed addresses of those forces that have been eliminated. However, in any case, the removal of so many underground forces at one time has also made everyone see the courage of the royal family. It can be expected that in the next few years, the security of the capital will inevitably be ascending, and these achievements will also bring sufficient help to the coronation of Jim Waz. On the desert island, the rain is pouring. In an extremely simple gathering place. After living on the desert island, the army of the Principality of Yar quickly restored order due to the general framework of the army. Wooden houses, bonfires, and roadblocks soon all rose to the ground under the concerted efforts of everyone. At this moment, sitting in the simple wooden house with a dull look, feeling the leisure time of heavy rain outside and light rain inside. Harry wanted to screw off Jim Waz's head. Although these few days have not been long, as a nobleman, Harry has already experienced the hardships of the ancient primitive life. Drilling wood to make fire and eating tasteless is enough. In this horrible place, there is no thing to wipe the buttocks. You can only use leaves and stones to solve the problem. This is undoubtedly something Harry has not experienced. Since someone wiped their buttocks with a strange plant, it caused the festering phenomenon of chrysanthemum. On the island now, the leaves without fluff and jagged leaves have become a sought-after item among soldiers, and even caused a lot of fights. This is unbearable for Harry. He couldn't believe that the elite troops he commanded had fallen into the fight for leaves to wipe his ass. If it were spread out, it would almost be able to throw away the glory of the Principality of Yar for thousands of years. Since paper has become popular, even barbarians have known that they need paper to wipe their buttocks. He gritted his teeth and said cruelly, Jem Waz, you are really vicious. At the beginning, he thought it was not a problem to exile a deserted island, especially when he was crowded with people. The beasts and insects in the small area were small problems, and he never thought that the reality would swell his face. Just when he fell into deep thought, thinking about how to get out of the predicament. A hurried knock on the door entered his ears. The frequency of the rush. It made Harry feel that his simple wooden door that was made with great effort might have to be knocked through after a few seconds. But he didn't get angry either, because he knew that at this time he would come to own only those few, and there must be something urgent. So helplessly, he hurriedly said, What's the matter? The other party hurriedly replied, My lord, there seems to be an infectious disease among the soldiers. Many people say that they are full of pain and dizziness. What? Contagious disease. Hearing this news, Harry in the wooden house immediately changed his face, stood up and pushed open the wooden door, and asked with a very serious expression, are you sure they are infected with an infectious disease? It should be right. There are hundreds of people who have exactly the same symptoms. 
Many of them don't know each other and have never eaten together. It can't be food poisoning. After getting the confirmation, Harry's complexion began to change continuously, just like the face of Sichuan Opera. Each of his soldiers has undergone years of hard training, and the weakest are far beyond ordinary people. It is basically impossible for them to get sick with their physical fitness, let alone infectious diseases, but there is no absolute certainty, and occasionally there will be very few exceptions, that is, extremely dangerous diseases have been born in this place, its strength can even affect soldiers far beyond ordinary people. This is definitely a fatal danger to them who have no medical conditions at all. Although there are a few doctors accompanying the army on the island, they don't even have medicine, which is basically nothing. In the past, facing such a situation, the best way to deal with it was to isolate and kill the infected. Before the fire spreads, choke it to death in its budding state. But Harry still has to consider another thing, that is, what will happen if such a thing is done on this desert island. This group of soldiers was exiled to the deserted island because of their defeat, so many contradictions have been accumulated in their hearts. All relying on the accumulated power and psychological habits of the past, Harry can still restrain them. If at this critical juncture, they find out that Harry is trying to kill his own colleagues, these people are likely to cause a mutiny under the sorrow of the rabbit and fox. That was even more dangerous for Harry, and he couldn't help but consider it carelessly. After pacing at the door for a while, he said with a serious face to the guard who reported the news in front of him, you pick a remote place, let people gather all the sick patients there, and then call the doctor over. I have something to ask him. After receiving the order, the other party immediately looked like he had found the backbone, his expression shocked. Yes, seeing the other person's leaving back, Harry's serious face immediately became a little sad. He actually didn't think of any way. You can only isolate first, and then pretend to try your best to treat. Whether it is useful or not, you have to do it first. Even though there is no medicine, no matter how to treat it, it is a waste of effort. But as long as it is made in a manner, it should be enough to perfuse the soldiers. For more detailed things, you still need to listen to the doctor's insights. After all, there is no medicine, but the experience is still there. If they think they can still be rescued, Harry has no reason to sacrifice the soldiers. More than two months later, the middle-aged officer in charge of monitoring the deserted island and preventing the people on it from building their own ships to escape, stood on the deck of the warship and looked at the lifeless desert island in the distance. There was only chill and fear in my heart. The gathering place built on the island not long ago is now only a scorched ruin. Since more than ten days ago, the Yar army on that island has been completely mad for some reason. Like the most frenzied beast, there is no fear or timidity. All kinds of fighting methods were revealed in their hands, which made people shudder. There, except for countless decomposed corpses, there was no more living thing. If the monsters that are hidden in the corner, avoiding the sun while wandering, are not living creatures. Those terrifying deformed monsters have gradually climbed up from the pile of corpses since the first two days. They are about five or six meters tall. They look like meat balls that devil squeezed out. They are pieced together from various rotten pieces of meat. Deformed hands and feet and faces are irregularly distributed on the body, and various abscesses and mucus are all over the body. The whole body, every step you take will leave rotten pus on the ground. It can be said that just seeing their appearance makes one feel nauseous. Although the officer wanted to order the ships under his feet to fire and destroy the twisted monsters that polluted the world, he did not act rashly in the end. Because of this kind of thing, he must notify Jim Waz, and no one would dare to make a decision for him without his order. Furthermore, the officer himself doubted whether the artillery could kill those monsters. Although they have not shown the ability to swim for the time being. But it really irritated the group of monsters, causing them to swim over to attack the ship or swim to other places. The officer can't imagine what will happen then, so his biggest hope now is to stabilize the situation here before the situation worsens. After listening to the report of the soldier in front of him, Jim Waz put down the letter written by the opposing officer's hand. In my mind, I have some insights. Frowning, after thinking for a while, he told the soldier. You go down and rest first. I will send you a letter tomorrow, and you can bring it to your sir. Yes, 
Seeing the retreating soldiers, Jem rubbed his temples slightly and sighed slowly. The letter a few days ago only reported that the people of the Principality of Yar were fighting each other, so he didn't take it to heart. Now it seems that if you leave it there, it will definitely cause big trouble. That afternoon, sitting on the windowsill, Olga asked calmly. You mean that the movement there has attracted the attention of the church and needs to be dealt with, right? Nodding, Jem replied respectfully. Yes, my lord, the abnormality there has been discovered by passing ships. If it is not cleaned up, it will definitely cause a lot of unnecessary trouble. Olga smiled, and said indifferently. If that's the case, let's do it with you, anyway, I have got what I need. After the proposal was approved by Olga, Jem let out a sigh of relief. Subordinates understand. Looking at Jim Waz, who had retreated, Olga shook his head slightly, showing a sarcasm from Ribbon. Weakness is the biggest mistake. One month later. The palace, the night before the coronation ceremony. Sitting on the chair, Jim curiously asked the Charles who was sitting next to him, did there be any results from the research on that thing? Since Carla was killed a month ago, Jem Waz and Safi have divided each other's bodies equally on behalf of the two forces. In this regard, Safi thought that Jim Waz was interested in devil's power, so he warned him many times, so that he should not be tempted by the things in front of him, afraid that he would be contaminated by devil's power. There is no shortage of similar things in history. After the evil was eliminated, the brave man was attracted by the opponent's power and became a new evil. Jim Waz can only helplessly say that he is actually using devil's body as magic material, not that he wants to study some devil power. This statement, whether the other party believes it or not, he himself believes it. Then, after changing hands, he gave Carla's half-body to Shire for the other party to study. Facing his question at this moment, Charles smiled and replied, After one month of research, I found that Devil's body structure is completely different from the creatures in this world. They are more like energy creatures than flesh and blood creatures. Every drop of blood is strongly corrosive, and any creatures that come into contact with it may be attacked, ranging from injuries to the least, and being directly demonized or killed in severe cases. Hearing this, I realized that Shire's words had no more words. Jim thought he was selling off the hook, so he asked, ah, and then. Still an awkward but polite smile, Charles smiled and shook his head, then it's gone, the rest has not been studied yet. Jim was shocked. These things are your results for a month. Although he had known for a long time that he might not be able to study anything, Shire's performance was still a bit too catchy. Those things he said are recorded in history books, do you need to repeat them? Seeing the other party's expression of being tricked, Charles waved his hand helplessly, and forced to tell the truth, I'm just a sorcerer. If you let me study spells, I can think of a way, but you let me I am engaged in biological research, so it really is not within the scope of my realm. Jim was a little speechless and could only sigh, it seems to be the same. In that case, then the corpse can be used as a magic item, it is better than letting you waste it. Charles hurriedly shook his head and said, I don't need that for now. I have contacted a scholar who specializes in transcendent biology. Maybe he can study something. When Jem heard this, his eyes lit up and he became interested and asked, is that person reliable? Although that person is very capable, his personality is extremely withdrawn. He belongs to the kind of person who is devoted to studying and learning. I can have friendship with him because of some old things. I am a little surprised to be able to successfully invite the other party over. So I should no problem. Nodded in satisfaction, and Shire can describe him as being very capable so the other party has some abilities that can be recognized by others. So Jim said, if that's the case, then just do it like that. Looking at Jim, who had already made a decision, Charles said indifferently, okay. But I think Olga doesn't care about these things at all, and has never paid attention to our behavior, even if devil comes to the king. He didn't care about such things at all. Even when I met him last time, I deliberately told him that we had killed a devil and wanted to test his reaction, but he didn't even change his expression. I can't understand his indifferent attitude, no matter who it is, he has his own needs. Touching his chin, Jem looked puzzled and said, I was in Orga, and I never saw what he was after. Although he yearned for the soul and possessed the ability to plunder, 
he's staying peacefully all the time, what is the reason for restraining him? I think when we find out that reason, it is when we are out of his control. Maybe. He and Jem's position is exactly the same on the point of breaking away from Olga's control. Even if I am trying to correct evil and return to righteousness now, the pride of the past still does not allow myself to be pinched in the palm of my hand. Shaking his head, after throwing out the mess, he picked up the wine glass from in front of him and said with a smile, speaking of which, you will be crowned tomorrow. I will toast you in advance. Grateful. Jim raised his glass and replied, in the eyes of everyone, with a team of soldiers in gorgeous armor, walking through the streets crowded with flowers and flags held high by the people, standing in front of the gate of the palace. Looking at the statues of ancestors standing there, Jim Waz knelt on one knee, closing his eyes solemnly. I, Jim Waz, will inherit the glory of the Waz family, follow the traditions since ancient times, command the country, and protect the subjects. No matter what difficulties can't make me bow my head, I will continue to pass on the glory and let the flag of Martin stand forever in this land. May the world bless me and wait. Accompanied by his oath. A man and a woman, two gorgeously dressed young children, one carrying the crown and the other carrying the scepter, walked in front of him. Put the crown on Jim Waz's head, and pass the scepter by his hand. And Jim Waz opened his eyes at this moment. He stood up, turned his head, and looked at those holding his breath, watching his own subjects. He held the scepter solemnly. I, Jem Waz, your king, will inherit all the glory of the past and take the principality of Martin to the top. Cheers sounded at this moment, countless flowers and fireworks scattered from the sky. From their joy, Jim Waz seemed to really feel that the expectations of the people became weight unknown. Some changes have taken place in his mentality. More than a year later, the sun in the sky is at its peak at this time. Since Jem took the throne, the national power of the Principality of Martin has been flourishing, and even the king's capital has become much more prosperous than before just like a star at its peak. Sitting on a chair in the study, Olga calmly took the tea from Trina, his nose twitched slightly, sniffing the fragrance, and complimented as he did in the past, very good tea art. Quote. Looking at the other person who looked in front of him with a smile as always, but his heart was still beating a little faster involuntarily, Orjigo with a smile on his face, drank a few sips of tea, and then held the cup of tea to comment, still the familiar smell. Trina smiled reluctantly and said, I hope you like it. After smiling nonchalantly, Olga reached out a hand and touched her cheek, feeling her trembling body slightly. Between the eyebrows, for the first time in this life, he showed a pity, it's a pity, I do like you very much, maybe not love, but you are indeed my favorite one so far, so I really want to bring you by your side. Perhaps this is the nature of creatures eager for companionship. Obviously I am a devil, I shouldn't have this kind of emotion. After taking a breath, the false smile on Trina's face faded, and she looked straight into Olga's eyes and asked, why did you take the initiative to tell me the truth? You can lie to me, if you keep if you choose to lie to me, maybe I will always be deceived by you, maybe. Hearing this question, after thinking about it, Olga said with a smile, although I am devil, I don't like lying very much, especially for important people. That's why I chose to tell you the truth directly. After listening to Olga's words, Trina's face burst into an unprecedented smile. Gently kissed the corner of his mouth. My lord, thank you for your love. Feeling the fleeting tenderness, Olga was stunned and then smiled. Goodbye, Trina. In the next instant, a gleam of scarlet light flashed, Trina's heartbeat stopped completely, and she fell down towards Olga with a smile on her face. However, before the body touched him, it turned into countless invisible particles, and completely disappeared in this world. Slowly retracting the hand that had just been stroking Trina's cheek, Olga sat on the chair, the smile on his face had completely disappeared, and the teacup in his hands was slightly sluggish. I am only devil, I should be used to betrayal. If you don't want to leave it, why would you just shoot? Is it because she is so important that she can't forgive it? He was puzzled by the thoughts in his mind. Not long after, there was a rush of footsteps outside the door, and Jim Waz, wearing armor, led a group of people into the room and pushed open the door. Jim Waz, Duke, Shire, Safi, and some people who can't be named, but are also very good. 
In addition, thousands of fully armed and equipped with Devil Dao driving equipment stood at the door, and they had already surrounded the room tightly. Seeing Olga, who didn't react to anything before him, didn't even look at himself and others, Jim Waz showed a fleeting surprise on his face before he said solemnly, Devil, today is yours. Dead time. Hearing what the other party said, Olga then slowly looked at Jem. There is no expression on his face, only a touch of indifference. For him, the betrayal of Jim and others was something that had been anticipated at first. Whether they want it or not. Under the influence of the world consciousness, these natives would subconsciously reject Orjiga. Like a group of marionettes. In Olga's heart, when they betrayed, it means that the world consciousness has reached the limit of own tolerance, and they need to immediately find a chance to make a fortune. Just like a disposable alarm, it is a consumable item, so Olgata never cared about their thoughts from the beginning. As for Trina, it is completely different, she is a more important person, Olga's power is always protecting her. The power that rejected the world consciousness exerted its influence on her. So what she does is her own true thoughts. Raising the teacup in his hand and drank the tea inside, Olga looked at Jim Wazi calmly and said, You don't have to worry that Trina did not complete her task. The medicine was indeed drunk by me. After all, this is the last cup of tea she made for me, and I can't waste it. Seeing the other party calmly put down the teacup in his hand, Jem couldn't figure out Olga's thoughts as always, but he also knew that there was no choice now, so he directly ordered, attack. A large number of arrows coated with holy medicine flew into the window in an instant, and a large number of soldiers also drew their weapons, and they were about to chop off at Olga, who was sitting on the chair. I saw Olga, flicking the nearest arrow, bounce its direction to the rest of the arrows nearby, causing them to collide with each other. After a series of collisions, all the arrows fell beside him, and none of them hit. Not far away, the soldiers who were holding their swords about to cut at Orjiga were dumbfounded, and they couldn't help but slow down. When they saw Olga left the seat and stood up, they took a step back subconsciously. Regardless of Jem's ugly expression, Or grabbed it and a soldier was sucked into his hand from a distance. He squeezed the other person's neck and said to Jim Waz, I suddenly had an idea. If death is inevitable, can he at least make him look more beautiful and dazzling? In the next instant, the soldiers in his hands burst into countless blood mists, and only a splendid bright red flower remained in his hands. The flower is divided into seven layers, each with six petals. The petals are close together, making it look a bit similar to roses and camellia, but more slender. The petals are surrounded by bursts of long-lasting blood. The mist has a hazy beauty. Olga was very satisfied with the flower and looked at it for a while, and then asked Jem Watts, Look, isn't it very beautiful? Maybe you can call it the death flower. Before Jem had spoken, Safi looked at the scene in front of him, with an ugly expression on his face and couldn't help but reprimanded, Devil, you dare to be so arrogant. Today we must kill you. Scarlet eyes swept across the opponent slightly, ignoring his reprimand, Orjiga with a smile on his face, gently throwing away the flowers in his hands. I am looking forward to whether you can do it, after all, I am in my current mood. Not so much. After he finished speaking, Olga's appearance began to change, with curved double horns growing from the top of his head, wings protruding from the back, scale armor and exoskeleton constantly emerging, and even his height rose from 1.8 meters to 3 meters. Around 7. The wings flapped slightly, and a gust of wind surged. The walls and roof of the house, together with a large number of soldiers, were completely lifted off. Not caring about their chaos, Orjiga looked at the rune-armed scarlet on his body with a little dissatisfaction. He suddenly felt that these patterns were a little unsightly. With his thoughts, the appearance of those runes began to change, and the appearances that turned into death flowers were engraved on his exoskeleton. He smiled and said, this is much better. The next moment, the scarlet soaring pillar of fire pierced into the sky with him as the center, and then spread out hundreds of meters in the sky, like a huge opened umbrella, covering the sun in the sky and enveloping the entire capital city sky. Countless meteors began to fall like a rain of fire. As if the end had come, despair was brought to everyone. Faced with this situation, Jim Waz, who had just stood up from the ground, lost his eyes as if he had lost his soul. Finally, he carried the weapon crazily and rushed into the skyrocketing flame. 
the bottomless abyss, the wailing forest. It was still in the face of danger, all kinds of weird roars had never stopped, and endless monsters lurked in it to hunt each other. A certain stone mountain standing in the forest. It should have a bald and gravel appearance. Since not long ago, beautiful bright red flowers have been growing one after another, and bursts of bloody mist drifted above, making the entire mountain have a certain ethereal beauty like dreams. But it's weird that there has never been a living thing. Not only devil and all kinds of monsters, but also all kinds of poisonous insects all over the wailing forest, you can't find one here. There is no sound from here, which is completely opposite to the ubiquitous fighting in other places. It seems to be a place of absolute silence, which is subconsciously daunting. The time is almost here. Single quote. In the sea of flowers, opened his eyes and looked at the cloudy clouds in the sky. Olga felt the breath of bonus of soul. Although the smell was still very weak, the signs had already appeared. After roughly estimating the time, he closed his eyes again and began to adjust his own state. He is still a little confused now. After destroying the capital of Martin, he was kicked out of that world and returned to the bottomless abyss again. The first thing he did when he came back was to find a quiet place to lie down. If you really can't find a quiet place, find a place to solve the noisy things and make it quiet. So the aborigines on this mountain peak were solved by him. No matter what their original posture, what kind of thinking they have. Now they are all beautiful flowers, and they can no longer make noise and make noise. Up to now, he has been lying down for about 10 days, thinking a lot of things in the meantime, and having general thoughts in his mind. After another few days, feeling the chaotic power fluctuations in the distance, Olga touched own hair, stood up from the ground and took a breath. The smell of blood, a lot of fresh blood. A smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, and he said to himself, just thinking, it really doesn't make much sense. This is the conclusion he came to after more than 10 days of thinking, when you're in a bad mood, it's no use thinking about anything, it's better to fight and vent your anger. Single quote. The wings behind opened, a strong wind rushed out, the ground was blown out of a big pit, and the dead flowers within tens of meters around were blown away along with the dust. But he himself turned into a red afterimage in a hurry, flying towards the distance. A clear flight line was left in the air. The flight speed of several times the speed of sound turned the atmosphere into a wall of air, constantly rubbing his body surface to produce sparks, making him feel like he is in a furnace, like a flying fireball. This may be a problem for ordinary creatures, but Olga felt very comfortable. Because of him, devil, and also the Balrog. Ordinary flames and high temperatures are a kind of power to him, like supplies, they are by no means troublesome. Everything along the way, whether it is devil or magical beasts, is like a fragile building block in front of the full flight orchard, and it is instantly knocked into the volley in the most violent form to disintegrate, and even the blood is evaporated by the high temperature. Only a few remnants were swayed in the sky. It didn't take long, a few minutes later. Olga saw the monsters who were already fighting wantonly in the distance. In the sky, on the surface, and under the deep soil, millions of monsters are reveling, and blood is spilled everywhere. This is a celebration of the howling forest. Whether it is the past or the present, even in the unreachable future, it will eventually embody the most basic theme in the bottomless abyss, killing and being killed. The smile on his face became more and more conspicuous, and Olga's eyes showed unconcealed brutality. Without any hesitation, Olga's wings shook, his speed accelerated again, and he directly rammed into the battlefield in the sky, and gave the same destruction to everything that stood in front of him without any difference. He is now quite different from before. Last time he had to worry about many things and didn't act too conspicuously, but now he doesn't need to think about those things anymore. At this time, he was already at the top of the food chain in the howling forest. Here he doesn't need to fear any existence, and he doesn't need to cover himself anymore, just do it as long as he wants to do it. Regardless of any danger, he has the confidence to deal with it. This is confidence in his own strength. Carrying a head that had been crushed for the most part, Olga looked around his eyes, looked at the monsters who were still rushing towards him without fear, and sighed with a smile, the folk customs of the bottomless abyss are better. Once you get crazy, there is no fear or retreat, everyone can have fun. Compared to humans who tend to retreat, the monsters of the abyss are more barbaric and cruel. 
As long as the killing is aroused, they are the most cruel killing machine. There is no fear or timidity. Killing is for them. Words are the strongest instinct. Whether it is the skill of fighting, or the viciousness of the mind. These creatures that are born to destroy everything and exist are far above ordinary humans. All kinds of insidious attacks are used extremely skillfully in their hands, just like the most basic skills. All of them had to face it cautiously, indulging in the cruel fighting. Many of the moves that could only be simulated in the brain because they had no opponents in the previous world were used by Olga, and they were experimenting with their feasibility. With the cooperation of multiple talents, Orjiga's combat talent has reached a certain level. With the continuous killing, his skills have begun to rapidly increase, just like riding a rocket. In the first pass, those skills were still a bit handy, the second time they reached a proficiency level, and the third time they have reached the level of proficiency. What an ordinary person needs a lifetime to do is just like breathing to him, simple. When the hand reaches out and wants to crush the opponent's brain, his talent automatically allows him to understand what to do to do better. When the opponent tries to fight back, his talent tells him how to interrupt it. Just like he was born with this ability, let any reaction of the other party be invisible to him. In the melee, Olga continued to adapt to the rhythm of the surroundings. Soon, from the beginning, he was a little messy, and it became a man of ease, able to easily predict the various attacks around him, and through the chaotic energy field, he could tell directly which ones were threatening to him. The attack in his hand also became more fierce. A random blow can cut off all the opponent's retreat at the most perfect angle, so that the opponent can't even do the evasive movement, and easily tears its scales. Unscrew the opponent's brain. Raising his brows slightly, Olga suddenly felt something interesting. The tail immediately pierced the chest of a devil next to him, and then ignoring the opponent's struggle, he pulled him in front of him. The next moment, the air in front of Olga's body was distorted silently, and the devil, who was pulled in front of him, was torn apart in an instant, leaving only a small part of it. Hanging on Olga's tail. Faced with such a situation, Olga's expression remained unchanged, and in a mentality that he could not be wasted, after draining the remaining flesh and blood essence of the opponent, he arbitrarily tossed the opponent's body away. He looked at a location not far away, where several devils were fighting, but Olga's attention was not on them, and he looked a little interested and said, space-like abilities. Lower devil is really rare. Quote dot 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 quote. Seeing that the other party didn't plan to come out, Orjiga smiled disdainfully, and grabbed his right hand at random. Accompanied by the distortion of the surrounding space, a monster with a relatively short stature, slender limbs and a big head on his neck was pinched and held in his hand. Seeing the other party trying to struggle, Olga's other hand pierced directly into the opponent's chest, holding the opponent's spine and shattering the bones of his whole body, and calmly commented, even with devils in terms of aesthetics, I still think you are ugly. After all the bones were broken, devil in Olga's hand immediately stopped resisting, and he was pinched in his hand like a dead dog. He ignored Olga's mocking comments, vomiting blood in his mouth and asked unwillingly, how did you find me? Whether in the howling forest or in the mess of Otherworld, his proud ability has never missed. Originally being avoided by Own's attack by Olga, he already felt a little unbelievable. Unexpectedly, the other party discovered it so easily, hiding himself in the cracks of the space, and grabbing it with one hand at will, he held himself in his hand like a dog. I haven't even reacted to what happened. He lowered his head to avoid a poisonous new star, then turned his head and spit on fire spit, and burned to death one who tried to approach own devil. After that, Orjiga replied indifferently, it seems that you haven't checked it carefully. Own inherits memory. Except for your devil, who is born with the ability to awaken the space, as long as the blood purity reaches a certain level, the rest of the devil will also have a part of the space ability, and I have awakened some space sensing ability. Although it is only a trivial support ability, my strength is far stronger than you, so it is more than enough to sense your position. As for the power to grab you, it is some magic ability. Quote. After listening, the other party was stunned, and replied with a disappointed expression. That's it, thank you for your answer. Shrugging, Olga said indifferently. Nothing, little problem. Then, with his right hand slightly hard, he took off the opponent's head. After looking at it for a few moments, Olga was not sure that he had to think. 
Devil of the Space Department, should he be quite nutritious, right? Single quote. Although the ability of space is not a rare thing for a race-like devil who specializes in plane invasion, he has encountered it for the first time. He felt curious. This thing should be considered a rare quality compared to the ordinary devil. Single quote. Drain all the essence of power and watch the amount of evolution points that rise. Orjiga was disappointed and threw away the wreckage in his hands. The unhappiness in the heart quickly dissipated with the constant fighting. Bathed in the blood of his opponent, Olga's nature as devil made him feel happy. Even if he is also being hurt, there is no way to affect his mood as getting better. As devil, he has very strong vitality, and as long as it is not a fatal injury, a lot of flesh and blood can solve all problems. In this place now, there is no shortage of everything, that is, there is no shortage of all kinds of corpses. With the talent for absorbing flesh and blood, countless life energies are constantly pouring into him. Although many wounds seem not light, they can recover in an instant, just like having a low-profile immortal body. It's not just him, most of the other devils are similar to him, but their recovery efficiency is undoubtedly much lower than Orhaj's, and most of the ways to plunder life energy rely on food. In essence, this is no different from raising GU, it is nothing more than the survival of the fittest and the loser. The winner gets everything, the loser loses everything. Only the strong are worthy of surviving, and the greatest role of the weak is to contribute everything to become a stepping stone to the strong. Fight, plunder, become stronger. These three links belong to the eternal truth in the bottomless abyss, a cycle that never stops. Constant killing, constant plundering, constant strengthening, these three most basic desires are carved into the soul of every abyssal creature. For them, this is the biggest truth and the only way to judge whether they are successful. In addition, everything else is a secondary factor. Compared to these small scenes in the howling forest, the bottomless abyss, the bloody battle that has never ceased since order and chaos were divided into camps, is the greatest manifestation of this truth. In the memory of Orchka's inheritance, any creature has the qualification to participate in blood battles. No matter what you use there, as long as you kill the rest, you can obtain a part of the opponent's power without any predecessor. Set conditions, as long as you continue to kill, you can always become stronger, without any restrictions. It's normal to pick up a leak, leapfrog to kill, and climb to the sky in one step. Humans, devil, and even angels, gods, protoss, robots, etc., have no restrictions on their origins, and they all treat them equally. Even, it doesn't matter whether you are slashing with a sword or driving the universe battleship directly into the arena. The cause and process can be ignored, as long as you enter the arena, killing everything around is your only goal. There are billions of trillions of lives dying, and then billions of trillions of trillions of lives are constantly filled, never stopping. That is the largest meat grinder in the entire multi-universe. It can be said that compared to that, the howling forest is completely an amusement park. This level of fighting intensity doesn't even count as a warm-up. Although for the time being, I don't plan to go to the bloody battlefield to find death. But Olga, as a devil, still inevitably yearned there. For devil, the bloody battle represents the ideal place, the largest battlefield in the entire multi-universe, and there is a little expectation just thinking about it. While he was fighting and thinking about it, there was a faint fluctuation in the clouds in the sky, which Olga was familiar with. Because that is the precursor to the coming of bonus of soul which means that the battle is about to enter a fierce heat. A large number of flying monsters began to raise their own flying height, trying to grab the bonus of soul as quickly as possible. The non-flying monsters on the ground began to attack the sky aimlessly, just like the situation seen by Orshiga last time. The monsters in the sky, the monsters on the ground, began to abandon their previous opponents, attacking the sky or the ground indiscriminately, just like the last reissue, without any difference. It's just that, last time Olga was standing on the ground and barely belonged to the ground camp, but this time Olga flew into the sky and belonged to the sky camp. In his opinion, this classification method is meaningless. After moving a few meters, he almost escaped from an own attack. Olga touched his chin, looked at the battlefield that had become more chaotic, and sighed to himself, since the anger has almost gone, I should do something. It's business. A scarlet blood inflammation ignited on his body, and then gathered on top of his head, 
forming a huge fireball hundreds of meters in diameter. Looking at the tumbling flames in it, Orlea raised his hands and squeezed, and the fireball immediately exploded. A wave of blood-colored flames spread from it, like a flowing flame cloud, falling from the sky. Looking at the monsters on the ground who were vying for the soul gift, Olga's mouth showed a smirk. Compared with the so-called soul gift these gathered monsters are his best choice. The time he spent in the Wailing Forest is about to reach the upper limit, and he will be expelled to other abysses in the near future. In the future, he wants to find so many monsters with the most power similar to himself, but it is not easy to find, so the most important thing is the thing is to harvest it again and try to plunder the evolution point. In the face of his attack, the monsters on the ground were not without the power to fight back. Various spells were used to attack Olga and the fire cloud that was about to fall. Looking at those thousands of ways, quickly approaching own attack, Orjiga's face didn't panic, his brain automatically judged the best escape route, and it didn't take much effort to avoid them one after another. Then, through the energy intensity of those attacks, he began to analyze which area gave the weakest counterattack. That, to a certain extent, shows that that area is the weakest, and there will also be his target. It didn't take long before he got the result. With a strong flap of both wings, he began a rapid dive. With unparalleled momentum, like a flame spear falling from the sky. The goal is a lower devil, this is the strongest devil in the nearby area, priority is eliminated. The opponent who was fighting with devil next to him immediately changed his complexion when he noticed the unconcealed hostility and rapid approaching momentum of Olga. An ice crystal emerged from his head and stood in front of him. A thick ice shield was extended based on it, suspended above the head. Boom. In just an instant, the severely exceeding the impact force broke the ice shield's levitation ability, making the ice shield like a huge tombstone, directly carrying the impact force against the opponent. Faced with such a situation, the opponent immediately raised his hands and tried to withstand it forcibly. But the moment his arm touched the ice shield, he clearly felt a majestic force overflowing from it. The arms that he tried to withstand the opponent's offensive were shattered before even a trace of effective resistance was made under that force. Despair flooded his heart instantly. Boom. Accompanied by a flurry of agitated dust, the opponent was immediately knocked out of a bowl-shaped pit with a depth of more than 10 meters from where he was standing. With him as the center and a radius of tens of meters, all the monsters were shaken. Fly. Stepping on the broken ice shield and looking at the blood constantly overflowing under the ice shield, Olga's tail ignited a burst of fire and pierced directly in, extracting all the essence from the opponent's sparse wreckage. Standing in the deep pit, feeling the energy fluctuations slowly approaching around, Olga knew that they were trying to pick up the leak. There was a trace of disdain on his face, the guys in the sky are too flexible. They are still the guys on the ground, squeeze one by one to clean up a little. The next moment, the flame in his hand soared, and a flame spear that was four to five meters long stretched out. The waist was slightly slanted, and the spear was thrown directly with the force of the shoulders. It didn't receive any hindrance, and it pierced directly into the soil in front of Olga. After going some distance, it hit the target. Boom. The mud was splashed with broken corpses, and several monsters that tried to drill through the soil were immediately killed. Leap gently and jump out of the dirt pit. Olga's hand at the nearest little devil was a fireball, and he shot the opponent cleanly. The next moment, bursts of flames centered on him, expanding towards the surroundings, forming a flame realm covering the surrounding tens of meters. Within this range, whether it was all kinds of monsters, soil and plants, everything that came into contact with blood inflammation began to burn violently under this force. No matter how they agitated the magic power in their bodies, they couldn't extinguish the flames that burned their lives. At this time, those flames have turned into Olga's tentacles, enabling him to transmit power at will, violently suppressing the target's resistance. Different from the ordinary creatures of Otherworld, you only need to release the blood inflammation to burn the opponent to ashes easily. Most of the monsters in the bottomless abyss possess high energy resistance and extremely high vitality, and too much scattered power can't kill them at all. Therefore, Olga chose to limit the strength to a certain range, and continuously increased the intensity of the blood inflammation on that basis. Not to mention that you can directly burn lower devil level monsters, like little devil and other monsters, 
As long as they are stained with blood inflammation of this intensity, they can be burned into ashes in a few seconds and become org of point of evolution. Child butcher behavior. It almost refers to the current practice of Olga. Pick soft persimmons. Calculated based on the evolution point of a small devil worth at least three digits, the current number of mountains and plains made Orga a really excited. Compared with the lower devil who has good intelligence and knows how to think about gains and losses, these little devil who are somewhat similar to beasts are undoubtedly much easier to clean up. Whether bullying mentally handicapped children will feel losing face is not in his consideration. After all, there is no such feeling as shame in devil. It's their good tradition to slaughter the weak and stab the strong back. After the construction of his realm was completed, Orjiga started to move continuously, rushing towards the nearby monsters. Facing his mobile crematorium-style attack. Naturally, those monsters would not stand there waiting to be killed, trying to counterattack, trying to escape, fleeing. Although it couldn't be too much trouble for him to take pictures, it could be regarded as a significant delay in his efficiency. It made him feel a little dissatisfied but there was nothing to do. So started the game where you chase me, and if I chase you, you will die on the spot. The third month after the end of the melee. It's still the mountain full of dead flowers. Almost. Raising his head to feel the will of the howling forest, facing the rush that was a bit like a countdown, Orjiga knew that it was time to leave. After these days of hunting and killing all kinds of monsters, the evolution point saved in the system is already sufficient for him to evolve to middle devil so he has no need to drag him. So he directly used the power of his heart to convey to the will of the howling forest the idea that he wanted to leave. His figure disappeared in the next instant. Only the sea of flowers, which is delicate and beautiful, but looks very silent, is there. This is a turbid area, with distorted spots and lines randomly distributed all around. At the moment he appeared in this place, Olga understood that this was a transit point between the Howling Forest and other abysses. Through this, he can reach most of the abyss layers, which is the Wailing Forest and the rest of the original ground, giving each one a one-time privilege to escape from his own monster. For most of the abyss monsters, this is also the only opportunity for them to travel to and from the abyss. Because in terms of probability, most of the fledgling monsters, in the area they choose, are not mixed enough to use the cross-layer teleportation array, they have to be killed by the rest of the monsters as food. Take Devil as an example. Although they are immortal creatures, there is no such thing as old age and death. But the average lifespan is very short, even worse than humans. Because most of them were born on the same day and died that day, 90% of the newborns couldn't even leave the river bank and had to die. And even if you leave the river bank, in the days to come, there is basically a 99.99% .99 probability that you will die in all kinds of battles. Only a handful of people can truly live forever. In the face of this extremely high death rate, the devil's eggs on the banks of the Styx River are almost endless, and countless baby devil are born at all times. Otherwise, let alone any increase in the number, devil is not annihilated. Close my eyes and carefully felt the imprinted breath from the abyss in this space, Olga found that most of them have fuzzy information and only marked with their own characteristics, such as the devil of each abyss layer. As the mainstream. Fire, water, soil, wind, thunder, poison, metal, space, time. Apart from that, there was no more information, not even the name of the abyss, which made Orshea feel as if he had entered a black intermediary. After some hesitation, he finally chose a mark with fire attribute devil or a mostly. Although Olga possesses all sorts of messy abilities, he is still a balrog in the final analysis, even if he is upgraded, he is still a balrog. So he decided to find a place with suitable attributes first. After reading the brief information on the imprint, Olga reluctantly thought, I hope that place will not be too cheating. As far as he knows, some fire attribute abyssal environments are extremely harsh, with meteor showers and star storms washing the ground every day, except for fire attributed devil and fire attributed elemental creatures, there are no ghosts. If he can, he really doesn't want to stay in that kind of place. After he made his choice, with a distorted vision, the surrounding scenes became like abstract paintings. Through his own perception of space, he can feel that his own body is being moved to other places by a mighty force, but he cannot understand the level of this power. Soon after, when his vision returned to normal, 
Olga found that he was already standing on an unfamiliar land. Compared with the howling forest where various plants are overgrown, the land here is undoubtedly much barren, and at a glance there are only a few sporadic plants. The bloody, decayed and humid breath in the air no longer exists, replaced by the high temperature emitted by the five fireballs in the sky. The temperature here is about 500 degrees Celsius when converted to the temperature value of the previous life. It is very dry and without a trace of moisture, and ordinary people can't even survive here for an instant. Sniffing the air lightly, he also smelled a heavy smell of sulfur and volcanic ash. There are volcanoes nearby, and there are more than one or two. Satisfied and nodded, Olgiga was very satisfied with the environment here, far better than he expected. After confirming that there was nothing nearby that needed attention through the perception of the soul, his body began to sink slowly, blending into the ground silently. He needs to advance Middle Devil, and this place is just going to be used. When it sank about 500 meters underground, he saw that the surrounding land had been gradually replaced by magma, which meant that the nearby area was probably part of a giant volcano, and countless magma might be gushing out at any time. No wonder the ground is bare. Looking at this scene, although Olga was a little surprised, he didn't care so much. After all, the environment of the bottomless abyss had not been good. When the depth reached two kilometers, he released dozens of spells beside him for warning and protection, and closed his own eyes. The blood mist automatically emerged from the surface of his body, forming a shell outside his body, wrapping him into a cocoon-like object. This is not only a sublimation, but also another experience of cramping and peeling bones for Olga. Every time he arrived at this time, he could clearly feel that he was being melted and recast little by little, just like the pupilization stage of a caterpillar before it metamorphoses into a butterfly. Dissolve your whole body and reshape yourself into a more perfect self on the basis of the old. This kind of pain and transformation is not only on the body, but also on the soul. Every time I clearly felt this incomparable pain, Olga had a certain insight, as if he had a deeper understanding of the meaning of the concept of pain. It was an indescribable strange feeling. At this moment, Olga felt that he was the incarnation of pain, able to bear and impose it easily, and it seemed to have heard all kinds of painful nays since the endless years of this land, as if there were billions. Ten thousand creatures have crossed the obstruction of time and are telling him their own sufferings. Listening carefully to the howls of pain and savoring the various thoughts in it, Orjiga seemed to have heard the sound of chaos and was exposed to the negative torrent of the entire world. His soul involuntarily showed joy from the heart. A few days later, the outer shell of the giant cocoon shattered. It turned into a burst of bloody mist and returned to Olga's body again, becoming his reserve power. At this time, his height has increased from more than 3 meters to about 4.4 meters. The exoskeleton on his body has become gorgeous on the original basis. The countless death flowers formed on it with various unidentified patterns seem to have the rest of the meaning. The wings behind them have also changed drastically, becoming more slender and at the same time, the number has also increased to four. Their edges are covered with sharp barbs, which can be used as wings or as melee weapons. The double horns on the head have not changed much, but have become thicker and longer. The tail end of the tail, which was originally slender like an awl, has changed into a shape similar to a trident and a three-pointed two-edged knife. In addition to the original stab ability, it also has the effect of slashing. Host. Stuart Ogarissa Athern. Kalifa Orchga. Race level. Devil upgraded middle position devil. Power. 107. Speed. 106. Physique. 111. Magic. 114. Soul. 118. Talent. Self-evolution plunder. The body is in self-optimization at any time and fighting and devouring flesh and soul will speed up this process. Magic soul eroding blood inflammation Blood inflammation completely replaces your magic power and becomes yours the most basic energy, it has the characteristics of corroding and burning all things. Exoskeleton scarlet, arms composed of its own scales, has extremely high various resistance and automatic repair functions, and can hide its own breath and strengthen its own adaptability to any environment. Eye of insight shattering void vision is greatly enhanced, ignoring conventional illusion in most substances. Death plague death tribulation flower able to adjust and manipulate various plagues according to their own ideas, 
and the flower of death will become their symbol and represent your brand. Self-projection avatar can project an avatar with a certain strength from a long distance. Magic weapon melting pot any spell and fighting skills in your eyes will be become surprisingly simple. You can easily introduce new ones and you can no longer stick to the old-fashioned way of use and combine the two at will. Apocalypse awakening like the revelation of heaven. Your various learning abilities are great amplitude ascension and a certain degree of predictive ability. Pain torture is a messenger of pain, as long as you want to, your every move can give others suffering, even if it is just a casual look. The abyss contract through the power of the bottomless abyss, have the ability to accept calls autonomously, and use the power of the abyss as a medium to sign contracts with other beings. Note, no one can violate the contract, even if he is Prince Devil. Abilities, too long, too lazy to edit, just skip it, anyway, all kinds of spell abilities and fighting skills. Evolution point, zero, the appearance of the attribute list has changed drastically. Let's not mention the various values. In addition to the abyss contract, all the talents and abilities in this advancement have also been combined to make up for each other, and have completed the evolution. Get a full ascension on the original basis. Slightly moved his body, as the four wings behind Olga's back fluttered randomly, his body immediately pierced towards the top of his head like an arrow from the string. The soil and magma along the way did not cause him any trouble, all the objects obstructing him were easily crushed, just as fragile as tofu. In less than a second, he broke through a thousand meter thick obstacle and came into the sky. If the original wings still need to be flapped to fly, then the current wings have their own anti-gravity flight capabilities, which can make Orhaja fly freely without any movement, and flapping it is more for acceleration, so it just flies faster. After getting used to it in the sky for a while, Olga looked at the nearby monsters. In his eyes, a radius of tens of kilometers was within the range of his sight. Before long, he selected the lucky passerby. The flying body immediately began to turn and flew directly towards the target. As a spider demon with the strength of lower devil, although his strength is not strong, he is the kind that can be obtained within tens of kilometers nearby, and he is now hiding in the depths of tens of meters, carrying out today's daily predation. Relying on the fluff on the body, it can detect all creatures walking on the ground within a few kilometers, even if the opponent has only a fist the size of it. Today it has completed three hunts, and it feels that it is already five or six points full. According to past experience, a group of magical beasts will pass by in the near future. He decided to move aside to avoid being stepped on by them. Although the magical beasts are big, they are all hard bones. Unless he is hungry, otherwise he doesn't like hunting that kind of target, the danger is not small and there is not much meat. It's better to grab a few small ones. Although they are not hungry, they are at least relieved. Just as he exuded his own thinking, Guessing what prey he could catch next, his mental perception sensed movement in the sky. He was a little surprised and wanted to stick his head out to wait and see. Next, he felt a strong impact coming from directly above own. Danger. Instinctively issued a strong warning, he subconsciously wanted to try to hide aside. But before he waved his own limbs, he saw a burning claw appear in front of own's eyes. Accompanied by a clear pain, he clearly felt his hard skull penetrated. The soul was also pulled out and grabbed by the opponent. Standing in the pit, eat the soul of the other party casually. Olga began to extract the information he needed from it. In a short while, the other party's barren knowledge entered Olga's brain. After excluding a large part of meaningless garbage, he got the information he needed. The 6,548,257th floor of the bottomless abyss, lava wasteland. A world without night. This is the territory of Kalto, Lord Devil. The whole world is built on a sea of flowing magma. The so-called land on the surface is nothing more than the remnants of dust accumulated over time. Magma and flames are the mainstream of this world. In addition, according to the other party's memory, Olga also understood where the center of this abyss was. That's a place where this Nebo has never reached. In his memory, in the descriptions of other lower devils, he continued to fly at a speed several times faster than the sound, and it took about 1344 hourglasses to get there. After thinking about it for a while, Olga popped a small fireball towards a distant location. Boom. 
A big hole several meters deep appeared there. The speed of sound is 967 meters per second. Single quote. Based on the distance of the explosion and the time it took for the sound to reach his position, Olga calculated the speed of sound in this abyss. Then I compared the time algorithms of the two sides and found that an hourglass is equal to about three hours on the Earth. In the end, the actual distance between the central zone and own appeared in Olga's heart. It's not far, you can go see it. Single quote. If it's the strength of lower devil, Orjiga might have to weigh himself to see if he can reach that place, but now that he has advanced to middle devil, he doesn't need to think so much. Even in most of the devil legions, his strength can naturally be mixed with a squad leader and the like. Anyway, he is not the bottom of the food chain, so he doesn't need to worry about anything. This is the strength he accumulated with millions of lives in the fight. Even if there is systematic help, he also proved that he is not a waste. You can act cautiously, but you don't need to be afraid of anything. After making the decision, his body was silently separated from the ground under the anti-gravity effect. Find the right direction and start speeding up. Accompanied by a sharp whistling sound and a loud sonic boom, he disappeared into place in a hurry. 276 hourglass hours later. Looking at the towering buildings in the distance, Olga's heart flashed with anticipation. This is the first time that Devil's civilization has been seen with the naked eye. The moment he saw that city, even if he could only see a faint look, the detailed address of the other party's entrance and exit automatically appeared in his heart, as if there was a force guiding him forward. He knew that it was the magic effect of the building, which was equivalent to the lighthouse for guiding ships in the harbor. In his sight, the size of the city has far exceeded the norm, just like a giant kingdom. The width of the city wall is unknown. It stretches to the limit of the viewing angle and still has not seen the bottom. The height alone is tens of thousands of meters high. It is shaped by dark red stones, covered with various sharp thorns, standing in a vast magma sea, like an insurmountable barrier. Standing in front of it, Olga gushed out a sense of insignificance, he had never seen such a great creation. I look forward to this city even more in my heart. After a few more hourglass hours, he finally reached the gate of the city. That is a huge door with countless piles of bones, the height of the light is at least several thousand meters, and just above the doorway is a golden skull burning with black flames, looking through the eye sockets, it seems to be burning inside. With countless souls, we can still hear the crying and wailing faintly. God bones. Single quote. Looking at the skull and sniffing the smell in the air, Olga distinguished that the other party came from a deity based on the inherited memory. As for the specific deity, it was not enough to be seen. However, being able to be hung up by a Lord Devil is an honor show, I think it should be a strong one among the gods. For these so-called gods, Olga was actually a little curious. In his thoughts, as a group standing at the top of the multi-universe food chain-like devil in countless legends, they should taste good and nutritious. As for the feelings of reverence and disgust, with his current strength placed on many low-level planes, he can also act as a genuine demon god and carry out actions of slaughtering the country and the race, so he does not have any special emotions towards the so-called gods. In his opinion, it was just a high-level creature, and the strength might not surpass the high-level devil. The spoils hung up by the devil lord Kalto on the city gate also illustrates this point well. They may be unattainable for ordinary people, but for devil who is also a transcendent creature. As he approached, feeling the oppressive power coming from all directions, Olga understood that the no-fly enchantment of the city was at work, and any creature without permission was not allowed to fly in this range, so he folded his wings. Landed on the ground. Started walking like the rest of the creatures. These creatures are not all devils. The species can be called a hundred flowers bloom, and there are all kinds of mess, some just drive the road silently, and some are more in line with the simple rules of the bottomless abyss. After walking another distance, a devil with a height of more than 10 meters and covered with abscesses, wearing a standard armor, appeared beside Olga. The other party first looked at Orsaga's appearance and momentum, and then said in a cold tone, access fees. The mode of action is no different from the toll collectors in the mortal world. Middle devil, not as strong as me. Single quote. Olga habitually compares the other party with himself, then turned his head to look at Devil who was also charged for entrance and exit not far away. 
After seeing that the travel toll he took out was a piece of soul crystallization, his heart was based on that piece. The quality of the soul crystal has some bottom. So he grabbed the position behind him, a passing, lower devil instantly burst into countless blood foam, which he gathered in his hand and purified it into a freshly baked soul crystal. Ignoring the onlookers who retreated a few steps around, Olgiga threw the contents in his hands to the toll collector at will, and said indifferently, no need to look for it. After catching things, he glanced at Olga indifferently, Niu Mian Devil casually tossed him a token, turned and left, and charged other entities. He didn't say anything about Devil who was pinched to death. Devil's city, even if it has some rules similar to human cities, but the owner here is still Devil, so their chaotic camp and habits will not change anything. Fighting against each other is still normal, as long as it is not a mass killing. Fighting, or destroying the city's buildings, these city guards would basically not interfere. And Niu Mian Devil could also vaguely feel that he might not be able to beat the Balrog in front of him. Although this doesn't prevent me from throwing his stinky face, after all, not being able to beat him doesn't mean that I can't pretend to be forceful in person. What about pretending to be forceful as a civil servant? Looking at the opponents leaving back, Olga burned the disgusting pus remaining on the burning token with blood inflammation, which was the dirt flowing out of the abscess on the opponent's body, and then walked in unhurriedly. In the city. It's really big. Looking at the road with a width of more than 1,000 meters, Orjiga sighed like a bun. Touching his chin, he felt that he would become the Lord of the Abyss in the future. So big. A similar word came into his ears from behind. Although he didn't understand the other party's language, but relying on Devil's language talent, Orchka still understood the other party's words. Looking back, I found that it was a few humans with different clothes. And it was one of the relatively young men who spoke. Olga had no idea about their identity and purpose, and didn't want to play with them. Not only him, but also those Devil who longed for human souls. Because human beings who can go deep into the bottomless abyss have a bit of skill in cooking, they are generally very tricky, so there is no devil who will trouble them here. The other party obviously understands this, so although he still retains a bit of vigilance on his face, his behavior is relatively casual. However, when they noticed that Olga's gaze was looking at him and the others, they immediately held the weapon in their hands and were ready to fight. Immediately outside the city gate, they saw with their own eyes that Orjiga strangled another devil like a chick. In their minds, this is an out-and-out -out dangerous target. Regarding their hostility, Orjiga didn't care much, just glanced at them for a few seconds, then retracted his gaze and turned away. Seeing his leaving figure, the headed person exhaled slightly. His master once told him that the more human-like devil is, the more dangerous it is. Orhaja has a human-like face, which gives him a very different look. The wonderful feeling made him very unwilling to fight with him. This place, finish the mission soon and go back. Walking casually in the street with a look, Olga did not provoke anyone, nor was he provoked by anyone. If it is ruled out, there will occasionally be a few fighting people around to fight each other to death and death, then here is not much different from a normal city. The two unknown species fighting each other in front of him with one foot kicked them hundreds of meters away. Olga admired the surrounding scenery and said, it's really harmonious. There are tens of thousands of life forms on this street, there are only a few. Hundreds are fighting, it's so peaceful that it's not like being in a bottomless abyss. My lord, my lord. Just as he sighed, a voice that was both obscene and flattering appeared behind Olga. After a slight stunned look, he turned around and lowered his head to look at the source of the sound. It was a green-skinned creature about two meters above with a figure like an egg, a bunch of white hair on its head, four legs and two hands, and its whole body was covered with eyes of various colors. Ugly. This is Olga's first impression of him. This little thing is very ugly. This is the second impression that Olgador got after taking a few glances. Looking at the a little nervous opponent, Olga touched his chin and asked a little puzzled, is there something wrong? Facing War's question, the other party rubbed his hands together and pointed at two unknown creatures that had passed out hundreds of meters away, like a peddler, excuse me, those two guys, anything else. Glancing at the two creatures slightly, Orjiga said calmly, no. As soon as the voice fell, even though the other party looked a little unspeakable, Orjiga still felt the other party's joy. He said excitedly, 
then I won't disturb you. Then between three or two steps, he ran to the side of the two creatures and squeezed their necks with two clicks. Carrying their bodies happily, they left. Just as happy as a human who picked up money on the road. Seeing this situation, Olga nodded with satisfaction, it's really simple and honest, and even asks the other party when picking up trash. At the door of a store, Orjiga stopped own. Grig Tavern. The three characters Grig on the signboard were added later, a batch of crookedly written ones, and there are many names underneath, which should be the name of the previous owner of the tavern. However, looking at the tavern in front of him, Olga had a unique sense of sight, as if a tavern had to appear at this time to fit his devil's fantasy background. Recalling the memories of the previous life, this kind of place usually has many stories and accidents. Olga's eyes revealed an expression of interest, the trigger points for missions in various legendary epics. Go in and get insights. Single quote. So he pushed the door directly in front of the guard and walked in. As soon as he entered, Orjiga was taken aback by its internal scene. Quote dot dot dot. How is this sci-fi style? Thousands of lamps are hung on the top, giving it a feasting feeling. In the center, there are several mechanical stages that alternate up and down. On each stage, there are dozens of female creatures like dancing girls dancing different dances. Seeing the dancers with different looks, Orjiga immediately took a few steps back. They were a little apologetic for their looks, and they were totally inconsistent with his aesthetics. But with the idea that he couldn't come in vain, he still walked to the position of the wine table. Ignoring the various noisy creatures around, Olga directly pulled a seat and sat down. He threw a piece of soul crystal to the bartender, give me a glass of wine, no need to look for it. This is an asset sponsored by the friendship of passers-by, although it was old when it was sponsored. The bartender with more than a dozen arms squeezed the soul crystal in his hand, and immediately showed the perfect smile, wait a minute. It didn't take long for the bartender to pour unknown liquids from various bottles and cans and carefully prepare them in the cups. A glass of brightly colored wine with hot bubbles still emerging from the surface was brought to Orga. Please enjoy. Sniffing the mixed bloody smell in the wine, Olga raised his brow slightly, and there were at least 30 kinds of blood in it. With a light sip, he immediately felt a strange sense of comfort. A hint of surprise flashed in Olga's heart. He commented, it's delicious. The bartender replied with a smile, you are satisfied. While drinking the wine in the glass, Olga looked at the other drinkers in the tavern and found that only about one-fifth-sixth of them were devil, most of them were other species, so he started to listen to the neighborhood. What are the creatures talking about? After a while, he pouted his lips in disdain. It's all meaningless chat and coercion, there is no useful information. Seeing his boredom, the bartender hesitated and asked curiously after the meeting, are you from another abyssal lair? Olga looked at the other person twice, and even though he didn't understand the meaning of the other person's asking this question, he replied, yes. The howling forest should also be considered as other abysses, so this is no problem. The other party sighed, no wonder you have such a weak breath of lava wasteland. I really envy you for being able to travel in this great world. I have never been far away from this tavern in my life. To me, this tavern is everything to me. Orlea smiled casually, and asked casually, Oh, are you restrained by the owner of this tavern? No, he sighed with disappointment. My parents are outsiders, not creatures in the abyss. I didn't know why they entered the abyss from the outside world, but they were killed by other guests due to conflicts with others while drinking in this tavern. This is this. When the waiter in the tavern was collecting the corpses for them, she accidentally discovered that I was still alive in my mother's stomach, so he raised me in this tavern as a waiter. Although they have not restricted my freedom, I also know my own ability. I basically can't survive if I leave here. Even if I can barely make a living, I am absolutely inferior to being a bartender here, so I have always been here honestly. N.S. After listening to it, Olga said with a very cooperative expression of pity, that's a pity, after all, the life outside is far more colorful than here. The bartender in front of him, the aura of strength on his body was not even, lower devil, as long as he dared to leave the door of the tavern, he might be killed on the spot. Just when the two were chatting, a coquettish voice came from Olga's side, handsome man, can you buy me a drink? Olga looked back and saw devil, a graceful woman, looking at him with coquettish eyes. 
The small horns on the top of the head, with wings on the back, the thighs of the legs are like humans, and the calves and below are similar to sheep's hooves, and there is a slender tail that is constantly wagging behind the buttocks. The coquettish face far beyond the ordinary human female reveals a different kind of charm. She wore a barbed leather whip around her waist, and she wore an exposed armor-like underwear. It barely covered anything except for a few important places, which made people doubt its defensive power. Succubus, the strength of the lower devil. Single quote. Olga looked at each other and smiled indifferently, okay. He took out another soul crystal and handed it to the bartender, also have a glass of wine for this beautiful lady. Seeing Olga's decisive action, the other party's face is also smiling like a flower, and the look is particularly coquettish. He twisted his waist and walked to Olga's seat. He moved his body and sat on Olga's lap. He complained with a charming and charming face. You are so generous, not like a certain person at all. These guys are so dumb that they don't even want to buy me a drink. After that, he stroked it on Olga's breastplate, looked at the pattern of the death catastrophe flower on it, and sighed in fascination, although you were sitting in the corner, I saw you first as soon as I came in. What a beautiful pattern. I didn't care about the other party's actions, Olga smiled as usual and said, this kind of flower is called death tribulation flower. I'm glad you like it. Although the opponent is also more than 2 meters high, he is as petite as a toy in Olga's arms. Sniffing the bloody aroma of the other party. Touched, the two horns on the top of the opponent's head, Oluga felt like playing with a doll. Seeing Olga smelling her body, she asked proudly, how is it? Is it very fragrant? I just took a blood bath. Nodded, Olga agreed, it's really good. After taking the bartender and handing it to his own wine glass, the succubus put his face on Olga's chest and smiled and said, different from your succubus, for our succubus, appearance is the most important under any circumstances. Thing. Having said this, she raised her head and looked at Olga's face, and her expression flashed a little doubt, by the way, I have never seen you such a handsome Balrog. Not so good, you are so handsome. Even with her eyes, the Balrog in front of her is almost impeccable in appearance, I am afraid that even the elves who are known for their pickiness and appearance cannot find any flaws in him. Shrugging nonchalantly, Olga said calmly, after all, I am an upgraded Balrog, and everything makes sense, isn't it? The bottomless abyss is vast and abundant, what freaks are there? Can a handsome Balrog be a problem? Don't ask, ask is the impact of upgraded. This is a universal excuse. Regarding this, she just glanced at him lightly, but didn't delve into anything, and instead continued to chat with Olga, chuckles from time to time. After a long time, looking at the leaving Olga, the flattery on the succubus's face was constricted. To the bartender next to him, he respectfully asked, Master Grieg, do you have any more instructions? The bartender was wiping the glass with more than a dozen hands, casually stretched out one and swung it, and said flatly, no, go down. Looking into the direction where Olga departed, Grieg thought with interest, strange Balrog, it seems that there are many secrets. And Olga, who was walking on the street, had a smile on his face at the moment, and he was in a good mood. The bottomless abyss is that there are many talents, each of whom is very capable, and the stories I make are also very nice. I really like it here. Single quote. The next step is to find a place to stay. It seems that we have to randomly select the lucky passers-by. He opened his eyes and stretched. A new day has begun, although this day has not been dark. Single quote. Walking to the edge of the cave in a hurry, Olga yawned casually looking at the various sights below. Although he doesn't need sleep, he will take the initiative to sleep on his own occasionally, for no reason, just that it is more comfortable. His current location is in a free residential area, which belongs to the three no area. This is a steep cliff with countless caves. The rule here is that anyone can go in and live. If it is full, find a cave and kill the creature that is already living in the cave. Just go in and live by yourself. The only problem is that it is easy to give it for nothing if you don't have a fight in it, and it becomes a caring service for delivering food to your door. In addition to this, there is actually a slightly safer area, but Olga is too lazy to run so far and the format there is similar to an official hotel, and the charges are relatively not cheap. Usually only the external creatures who come to the abyss to do business will live there for safety reasons, 
but for the local monsters, there is no big difference between whether they are safe or not. They themselves have three views and chaos, no matter where they live, they are not very safe. He tore off the head of the previous owner of the cave and looked at the horn on top of it. Olga murmured, Wand, Wand, tell me where to go shopping today. After reading it, use your fingertips. He casually released a prophecy spell to that head. Snapped. With a slap on the face of the head, the head fluttered on the ground like a spinning top. The swift speed even aroused a large amount of dust. When it stopped, Olga did not hesitate looking at the direction in which the unicorn stopped. He flew directly down the cliff and walked slowly. After walking for an unknown distance, Olga suddenly vaguely felt a certain premonition. So he stopped and looked around. After some screening, he found a familiar target. The young man in the team walking behind him when he entered the city. He still remembered the other side's exclamation. It's just that at this moment, I don't know why, there is no longer a figure of his companion beside the other party, and no one from his team is beside him. And he also looked desperate, and he looked as if he had suffered a lot of blows. Let Olga side with pity, and walk towards the other party. Although he doesn't know what happened, according to the tradition of the bottomless abyss, he can still guess something like this, oh, young people can't withstand storms and waves. Whenever they have any ideas, they will be out of words, even though I am only two years old. Single quote. Shortly after, throwing down the opponent's body casually. After wiping the blood on his hands, after some friendly exchanges between the two sides, Olga had already figured out what happened through Devil's Talent. This unlucky young man, and his team, all come from a relatively rich plane. There, interplanetary business is a highly profitable job. And the abyss channel they are now responsible for is the one with the highest benefits and risks. So every time they make all kinds of preparations. When they came to buy goods this time, everything was going well. Except for solving more than a dozen lower devil, they never had a conflict with any middle devil, so no casualties occurred. After arriving here, after some rest. Yesterday, it took a lot of effort to find a dwarf purchaser that he and others are familiar with. The two parties completed the transaction in a black market outside the city. There are no storms and no waves, there are no pitfalls and no traps. Everyone is very satisfied. But the next second, there was a deafening noise in the sky. He was in the black market, and instantly saw the dwarf who was doing business with them and the leader of own, his face became as ugly as a dead mother. Before he could realize what was going on, a white light broke through the defensive barrier of the black market and drowned his sight. The severe pain swept through his body, making him unconscious on the spot. When he woke up from the coma, he found himself lying in ruins covered in scars. Except for relying on the defensive props given by his parents to escape the catastrophe, everyone present died horribly, and even the businessmen in the black market became familiar. After healed his own injury with the potion he carried with him. After some inspection, he found that the black market where he and others were located was right next to a large pit with a diameter of tens of kilometers. The large pit should be a trace of some kind of attack, and the white light should be the attack. The resulting aftermath. My own group of guys, just like ants that were trampled to death when others started fighting, died worthless. He didn't know the level of existence that could strike that kind of attack, but he knew that it was beyond his control, so he could only pick up the properties and materials that could be used in the black market and hide them in it. In a hidden place, he returned to the city alone, waiting for the Chamber of Commerce to notice that something was wrong and sent someone to search for him. Next, he met Olga, so there was no more. Thinking back to the location where those belongings were hidden, Olga said with a pity, it's really miserable, but I'm quite satisfied with this mobile gift package. With the idea that he made a fortune anyway, Olga spit fire spit on the opponent's body casually, and completely burned the opponent to powder, which also allowed him to avoid the end of the corpse being taken by others as rations. I completely ignored the other creatures around me who had been observing here. Just like what Olga said earlier, this human being is indeed very immature. In the place of the weaker prey to the strong like the bottomless abyss, he showed a face like a bereaved dog, and he was looking for death. It's a showstopper to tell others to come and knock down the water dog. Even if you don't meet Olga, the predators around will let each other know what cruelty is. 
Here, as long as you show a slight flaw, a large group of people will chase you and bite. There is no need for cowardice, no need for cowardice, only the toughest and cruelest beings are worthy to survive here. Any creature with a not strong mind will belong to the predator here, no matter how strong it is, it will be in the hands of other predators. In the eyes, it will only be a relatively large piece of meat. No matter how big or strong a cow is, a jackal will try to take a bite, even if it is clear that the other side can easily kill itself. Animals that eat grass may be able to make meat-eating predators feel fearful by their strength and size, but they can never suppress the greed in their hearts. One of the most important reasons why there is no one to provoke Olga in this kind of ghost place is the temperament or the aura. No matter who sees him, he can instantly tell, Olga. Chica belongs to the predator's position. Just standing there, you can involuntarily reveal a strong bloody smell, and the dangerous aura on your body is even more unconcealed. At a glance, it is a dangerous target that can be done at any time. This is also the reason why Orjiga just took a look at them, and they drew out their weapons to warn them. Even the mere gaze makes them feel that it is a sign of attack. The hunters around who tried to pick soft persimmons might have thoughts of taking action against that human. He has even been fighting over and under to decide who will make the shot. But in the face of Olga, even if the opponent snatched their prey face to face, none of them dared to stand up, because they knew that the guy in front of them would never mind killing themselves. Predators take the initiative to retreat in front of higher level predators. This is the innate rule of the weaker prey to the strong of creatures. It's even more iron law in the bottomless abyss. Looking at the figure that Orjiga even did not bother to care about himself and the others, he just left. After the guys looked at each other for a few times, they left as if nothing had happened, leaving only a pile of fine powder on the ground, which was blown away by the breeze. A few days later, in a restaurant that is somewhat indescribably decorated, looking at the unknown meat roasted in front of him, Orlea casually tore off a piece and put it in his mouth. After chewing for a few times, he satisfactorily commented, well, it tastes really good. He was lightly leaning on his shoulder of the opposite beauty, and when he heard the words, he gently tore off a piece of meat and put it in his mouth. After chewing gracefully for a few times, his face also showed a touch of emotion, it's really delicious. This is a beautiful and charming female naga in exquisite armor. Her upper body is similar to a human female, her body is graceful and plump, with slender green scales all over her body, while the lower body is somewhat similar to a snake, not thick but very slender about 7 or 8 meters, and looks very slim. As for these insignificant things, Orlea didn't care much. With a mixed aesthetic of humans and devil, he was able to accept the monster girl calmly. What's more, the other party still posted it by himself, and he is not at a loss. He just thinks that the other person looks in line with his own aesthetics, so he doesn't refuse to come. Since he personally killed Trina, he has taken a lot of attention to this kind of thing. There is no private car for the time being. It's not bad to take a bus. Anyway, he doesn't have to be responsible. After getting along for a few days, he didn't even ask the other party's name. It's just a trivial toy anyway, there is nothing to care about, so there is no need to know. Naga ate the delicacy in front of her, thinking of the price of the delicacy, a tinge of flesh pain flashed across her face. If it weren't for this powerful flame devil, she who was only lower devil in strength would not be able to eat this kind of thing at all. Thinking of this, her actions became more and more pleasing, and she looked like a little bird. Although her size is strictly speaking, she is a little bigger than Oroja. After all, Devil, who is generous in his shots and looks handsome and has a good temper, like Olga's is really rare. This is a great thigh. I didn't care about the other party's thoughts. Ever since he accepted the assets of good-hearted people, his recent life has been very good. He eats and drinks well and sleeps well, and everything goes smoothly. He was bored and thought, it's still a bit boring, it's time to go to Otherworld. A few more days passed. Randomly dismissed the Naga who had been eating and drinking with him for a few days, trying to hold his thigh. Olga closed his eyes and immersed in the consciousness space connected by the Abyss contract. This time, he has more choices than the last time. He could clearly feel the sacrifices offered by the opposite side, which were richer and more chaotic. Many sacrifices even he didn't figure out what it was. 
Maybe it was a precious mineral, a precious material for casting spells, but Orchka was not very interested in those things. With the idea of holding the soul as the most affordable, at least it can be replaced by an evolution point guarantee, he randomly chose a summoning ritual in which the sacrifice is a large number of souls. Being in the space channel and feeling the passage of time, Orga thought boredly, it seems that the world this time is a bit remote. Single quote. The last time I arrived at the place in more than 10 seconds, this trip hasn't arrived in half a minute. After a while, feeling that the target is not far away, Orchka chooses the old routine and sends an avatar and the like to spy on intelligence to avoid being fished. Looking at the summoning ceremony in front of him, Hawthorne Schild was a little confused whether he had succeeded. But in front of many subordinates, still put on the expression of confidence. This summoning ceremony, he obtained from another ancient civilization, is the first time he has used it. Just when he was thinking about whether to do it again, the summoning ceremony on the ground glowed slightly with red light. Hawthorne immediately knew that he had succeeded, and the next step was to verify the content of the next step. Along with the intense blood-red fire, a distorted space door appeared in the center of the summoning ceremony. Along with the strong smell of blood, a tall figure wearing armor, other people's perspective, actual exoskeleton, walked out of it. The moment they saw each other, many of the weaker teachers immediately felt an instinctive shock. Let them subconsciously call up their power and put on a vigilant attitude. Ignoring the actions of those people, Orjiga looked straight at the guy closest to him. He can clearly feel that the guy in front of him is the own summoner, and the opponent's strength is not weak. Although he looked like a human, the other party had a strange taste, so Orjiga was not sure of the other party's species. Feeling the bondage from the summoning ceremony, he knew that he needed to conclude a contract with him in order to have the conditions to act in this world. Different from the defective half-bucket of water last time, the summoning ceremony this time is very formal, so he also needs to fulfill his due obligations. He can't be as unscrupulous as last time. So, lowering his head and staring at the opponent calmly, Olga asked, what is the purpose of you calling me? He raised his head and looked at Orr's body full of power. Hawthorne replied with satisfaction, I need you to guard my academy for a hundred years. Hearing the other party's request, Orjiga was slightly taken aback. He really didn't expect that the other party's purpose was actually this. Looking at each other in a puzzled manner, Olga was sure again. Let me guard your academy. Let a devil do this kind of thing, are you sure? Seeing Orliga's puzzled expression, Hawthorne felt a little puzzled, did not understand what was wrong with his own idea, so he said again, yes, is there any problem? It's probably the same problem. Putting a wild wolf into your home and letting it take care of the nursing home is the same problem. Single quote. It is indeed a genius idea to let devil be a security guard. It's really a shame to do such a thing as a devil. Single quote. Thinking of this, he looked at the sacrifices beside him, and immediately felt that as long as the price was right, it was not impossible to negotiate. After a hard choice of 0.3 seconds, Olga asked Hawthorne. I need to ask you two questions to make a decision. Although somewhat puzzled, Hawthorne replied, you ask. In his opinion, Olga's strength is very strong, and the summoning ceremony has its own contract function that cannot be repented. It is really a perfect candidate. Facing a satisfied opponent, Olga asked Owen's first question, do you have any record of devil here? Hawthorne replied, no, I also learned of your existence through the summoning ceremony of this exchange. No wonder the genius proposal to let Devil be a security guard. Nodding satisfied, he asked the second question, you just said the college, right? In that case, what college are you? This is not an important question, Hawthorne replied decisively, the Quiet Heart Academy, an academy that specializes in cultivating wizards. Wizard, a variant of the mage. Single quote. Although a little puzzled, Olga smelled the strong magic remaining on the opponent's body, and still had a general answer in his heart. The path of transcendent in the multi-universe is unknown. For the transcendent vocational college, which is not well understood, Orjiga is more or less interested, because he has never received systematic teaching, basically he is himself holding inheritance memory research, belongs to Yiluzi's background. In this case, I have a general understanding of the situation, and I have no other questions. 
he suggested, but I have an idea. I hope that is the so-called guardian, I still have a way to acquire knowledge from you. I will give the rest of the knowledge or property to exchange with you for this. After thinking about it, Hawthorne agreed to Olga's request. Although knowledge is precious to wizards, if others can afford it, they won't mind making an extra. So the two parties successfully reached a consensus and signed the Abyss contract under the effect of the summoning ceremony. On the condition of receiving the sacrifices in front of him and collecting a certain amount of souls every year, Olga will guard the Quiet Heart Academy for 100 years. During this period, he was only a guardian. In addition to his duties as a guardian, he had no subordinate relationship with anyone in the academy. In addition, he must not unreasonably harm the members and property of the academy. The right of members to exchange knowledge. From this day on, there has been a guardian from the bottomless abyss in the Quiet Heart Academy, and a beautiful crimson flower sea has appeared in the depths of the Academy's forbidden forest. In the days to come, after several members of the Academy accidentally entered the place and were half dead, everyone knew that the owner there was not hospitable. If there is nothing to do, don't go there, although the other party can't hurt yourself for no reason. People, but reason is always more idealistic. If you think it is, then it is. Seventeen years later, sitting on a withered tree branch in a human form, flipping through the books in hand, carefully reading the knowledge recorded on it. Olga sighed sincerely, it's really a strange plane. The inner world is actually divided into groups, which are somewhat connected but completely different. It's a bit like the universe of that world in my last life. Like the galaxy, they can only be combined together to become a plane. More than ten years has been enough to give him a deep understanding of this world. In his eyes, this plane belongs to a high-level plane that is undecided, which is completely different from the previous plane without the power of transcendent. If the last plane is a small and fragile item, then this world is a very hard metal spiky ball, which makes it difficult for him to start. This plane is composed of various world communities, and the world community is composed of many worlds. It is normal for the worlds to conquer each other here, in the world in which Olga is called the Wizarding World. Once the leader of this world community, he even integrated the entire world community in the distant past and launched an expedition to another world community. Although it has gone through several storms now, it has decayed and is no longer the glory of the year. From all kinds of records, they all reveal the feeling of sunset in the west. But at any rate, the ancestors were too wide, and the lean camel was bigger than the horse. Olga could also guess with his ass, no matter how much they had left behind, or else the enemies of the past would not be able to let them worry about their lives. Is it true that everyone has opened a shantang? In this plane that can invade each other's world, make a fortune by plundering other world. This group of wizards have offended many forces, and if they can always exist, they must have true abilities in their hands. Therefore, Olga is not planning to engage in trouble here. The deans of these wizarding academies, in his eyes, are the same, at most they are similar to him, but the ghost knows what they have secretly behind, and if Hawthorne gets dark, Hawthorne will take the rest of the messy old man. It's not good to mess with things. This kind of long-lasting world, it's not just empty talk. There are a lot of deep waters, and that's what I said. Olga had no intention of going to the bottom. Unless you have absolute confidence in your own strength and have the confidence to run it all the way, it is better to act according to the contract. Otherwise, even if the contract is signed, Olga will try to curve Yin Huokshuan. After all, devil, who abides by the contract 100%, is a joke in itself. At this moment, in the clouds in the sky, a huge wooden whale appeared quickly approaching here. Olga swiftly waved, and the mist above the forbidden forest instantly revealed a hole, letting the opponent in. This is his job, assaulting the intruder and letting his people in, just like the doorman. He thought silently, speaking of the job of security, isn't it more appropriate for a middle-aged person to do it? Why do I do this kind of thing at such a young age? Single quote. Thinking of this, he found another question, as devil, he has the attributes of immortality. How old can he be considered middle-aged? Is there a middle-aged crisis in this life? Single quote. Just as he was thinking about this meaningless question, the huge wooden whale slowly landed not far away from him. The whale's belly descended a staircase. 
Several teachers wearing uniform costumes and nearly a hundred night attendants carrying night swords led thousands of children around seven or eight years old. The teacher in the lead, after seeing Olga sitting on the tree, looked dazed and took the initiative to say hello, my lord, Gaian. When the freshmen saw the teacher who was very cold in front of them, when they were afraid to speak out when facing Olga, they secretly cast a curious look at him. Facing the other party's greetings, Orjiga didn't embarrass him, waved his hand casually, beckoning the other party to leave him alone. Seeing Olga's behavior, the teacher headed by him immediately breathed a sigh of relief. He didn't stay anymore, and led everyone to leave. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.